mm-hmm. don't think if 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 all the vagina like you got into a whole mm-hmm. like vagina like chaotic vagina accident you lost your vagina right and you were the last woman on earth <laughs> and nobody could fuck anymore chaotic right? vagina accident i said what i said Welcome back to Show Me Yours with Jackie and Johnny, everybody. I'm Jackie Agnew. I'm Johnny DeVito. And this week, uh, we're going to be a little shorter off the top. Mm-hmm. Keeping it tight. Definitely. I mean, and um, otherwise, it would probably just be excruciating. We have about a uh, very, <laughs> I mean, a longer a longer episode here for you today with one of the funniest people in town. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to kind of get right into it, I think, this week. Yeah, yeah. Normally, we have a bit of an introduction, but we we talked for a, for quite a while with Akeem, so, and it's pretty wild, so we're not going to... We're not going to keep you too long here. There's enough in there for you to have some fun with. So. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't subscribe to us already, go ahead and and smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. Uh, find us on Instagram, Show Me Yours Podcast. Uh, yeah, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, rate and review. Only if you're gonna give us five stars, though. If you don't, if you don't like us, then then keep then, it to yourself. Yeah, yeah, then keep it. Then we really don't. Uh, that can they it can stay between us. We don't need to go to the the algorithm with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, right? If you're just a spiteful <laughs> person like that, then yeah, just leave us a negative comment, but uh, keep our stars popping. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, Put a, a a comment on those on those YouTube videos. Those sure. help too, and share it with your friends. You know, post it on your your Instagram story. Share it on your Facebook. Do all of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Without <laughs> further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, oh, and if you're watch, if you're oh. listening or watching this right now, and you are my mom or my dad, maybe don't watch this one. <laughs> Because we get into some some t- it gets wild a little too much it information. gets a little too much information it's great content but yeah maybe just information you don't want to know if you're if uh, you have a if you're my mom or dad or if have like a, a child if you view me like a child my brothers that's really a judgment call on your part I don't know where your boundaries are there but you might not want to listen to this one either. <laughs> <laughs> so to wrap it up if you haven't given birth to jackie or um, are related by blood yeah then uh enjoy <laughs> welcome back to the program everybody we have a very special guest in the building today please welcome special fantastic the comedian the mac from montreal special akeem hoyt charles is in the building going? you know what thank you johnny i appreciate you because you're one of the only white people that know how to say my last name oh, yeah. and i appreciate it really 100 what the fuck is everybody's people butcher. really people butcher how do they how do they say it? hoite hot white i'm like wait a white? minute there's no w <laughs> in just, my name anywhere white? swear to god I swear to God. There's a thing where white people just get like immediately nervous around black people. It's like they're trying to be cool. So you, you want to like, maybe you're going to put like an extra accent. No, on bro. I don't, on it. Because it's don't very know. clearly Hoyt. It's Hoyt. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like an Irish, Irish cop name. It's pronounced yeah. as Irish it looks. What? Irish cop name? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Tell them Hoyt. I'm <laughs> tell them my yeah. mom that's fucking hilarious. But it'd be like a first name, you know what I mean, right? It's a guy yeah. that has like some some domestic Officer abuse Hoyt. issues. Officer Hoyt. Yeah, absolutely, right? Yeah, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, officer. But I'm happy to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. Oh, fucking time. Hey, no yeah, shit, man. Well, fuck. I fucked up last week. That's my bad. I fucked up last week. You've had an open invitation, and now that you've, now you've fulfilled it, but it's, it's better drunk. like yeah. that. Right? I was drunk, and I, I was like, oh, shit. This is, I know I got to do something today. I just can't remember what it was. Hey, and then I got hit I got hit on the 24th, and I was like, that's what it was. <laughs> that's all right. Was. Yeah. In full disclosure, we were, we were probably also drinking hungover, yeah. and hungover, too. So there's that yeah. morning where you're sitting there and be like, if he doesn't yeah. call, I'm not going to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, oh, oh what about Akeem? We're like, oh, I haven't heard from him. Okay, like, let's just go was on. The yeah. thing. I was like, I didn't know. And then 24, I was like, oh, fuck. All right, good. Yeah. That's it. But no, I'm happy to be here. And we fucking, and it's good to see you guys. I haven't seen you guys in forever. Fuck, it's so man. nice to yeah, see you, definitely. man. It's Hang been like was. seven months. Give or take. Like, yeah. December was like the last time. And even then. November. Oh shit, it that's true. And even then, November. you were like fucking just working. I saw like, we were hanging out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And, but you were like working like slaves. Yeah. I mean, oh my god, I, the, the little mean, bean of time that you. Could I get wouldn't out compare myself to a slave. Okay. <laughs> 
she was compensated Hunting. rightfully so for for the work that she was putting in. I'm allowed to say that. Okay. I'm allowed to say that, and she just doesn't want to get canceled. So I appreciate the effort. No, but you were working a lot, though. You were working was, a lot. I was working a lot. I was working yeah. too much. Golly. And now we're all just unemployed. Well, um, I'm just about, I got about three or four unemployed. weeks left, but I'm stacking up a, a, you know, a couple more checks, and then I'm, You're I'm not working? cruising for good, the summer. Good, yeah, I'm not good. doing anything, especially I, when shows are coming yeah. back. I don't want to have any other thing on my mind. When I haven't had a job since I moved here. Dude, I was Dude. actually meaning to ask that. How did <laughs> yeah. you survive this whole time? I haven't had a job. I just saved up money, uh, yeah. CRB, shout out to Papa Justin, mm-hmm. and uh, acting and stuff like that. I've been Good. acting oh, a little bit, that. so. Yeah, you've been getting roles in the... Yeah, I booked, I booked, uh, I booked, I booked uh, Batwoman, but I couldn't do it because I caught the Rona. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, I caught the Rona did twice. You I did, I did, oh I did, I did, I did. Oh my God, how was it for you? Shit. Yeah? I wouldn't recommend it. No doubt. No, it was bad. So I caught it. I got diagnosed with it on the 1st of April. Oh, okay. I was supposed to shoot the third of April, oh, no. and it was bad. It was headaches, chronic migraine. Oh, Did you lose dying. your your smell or your taste or anything? I didn't lose any of that stuff. That's Just good. everything was like, but my taste was heightened. Like, oh, I, yeah, I had Cam- yeah, I had Campbell's chicken soup, and I wanted to vomit. If I never have Campbell's chicken soup ever again, I'll be the first. Time. It'll be like too soon. Yeah, really? yeah. I fucking hated it. It oh, was wow. disgusting. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it was overall. And then overall, I got. I, I was fine in a week, but I studied 10 days. Yeah. yeah. And then just book some other stuff. And then uh, and that's it. Just that's how we've been. Congratulations, man. That's Thank great. you. Keeping it moving. Thank that sucks you. Like yeah. Yeah. Was the role on, uh, like, on Batgirl something? Um, like a security a guard. Bit, oh, yeah, security man. Security guard. Well, oh, you, missed, you missed out on security guard? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, but that's <laughs> the fucking rent, man. Security <laughs> guards. Yeah. Yeah. I still got yeah. paid oh, for yeah. it. Oh, no. oh, really? I did. Oh, shit. Well, then. So Shout out. I'm not complaining. Scenario. Shout out to Michael Anderson, the best agent. <laughs> the hardest working man in Hollywood, North Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I still got paid for it. So it was like, cool. I didn't, and I can still get another role on it again because I technically wasn't on it. But right, 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 right. unforeseen circumstances. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's why. Fuck, right on. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's cool, man. And I mean, if that's I'm, if you're going to put in a day of work here and there and actually get to, because like, you're down, you're living downtown. You're in yeah, I live in the West End. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. It's not a bad place to not have a job. Yeah. 100%. Oh <laughs> I fucking love it. I live five minutes from English Bay. Hell yeah. Life is fucking grand. I love mm-hmm. it. But no, I mean, I told myself when I moved here, I'm not going to like, I'm going to focus strictly on comedy yeah. and then acting just kind of, I fell into it here. Yeah. Totally. And uh, i rather minimize my cost of living. So like my standard of living. So like I was living in a, uh, a den when I first got here. Yeah. That's like the Vancouver special. Yeah. 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 Six fifty a month for a den. Yeah. Literally yeah. probably like this couch, if you put it all together, was bigger than my room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, but this is good. I'm in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Then I got lucky with the apartment that I have now, mm-hmm. bigger space and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But I told myself, no, I'm going to focus 100% on. Nice. Did you lock jokes. a place down? Like is the rent at least, I mean, it's a, it's enough that you don't feel like you have to get back to work. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Right? Well, like, I think it was like I pay seven. Oh, bro. You're okay. Oh. I'm laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally. laughing. How Hell did you yeah. find a place? That affordable in Facebook West End. Uh, I remember when you said you that roommates? you found it, and I was like, I, I, I almost didn't oh, believe okay. you. Have one shot yeah. to Dickie. Okay. Yeah. Right right on. Like, I, yeah. I was, so I was I was heading for the uh, Calgary for the Yuck Yucks competition, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and fucking clown of a fucking guy, slumlord, whatever. I'm not gonna air all this shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get sued, <laughs> but um, <laughs> moved me. From one place to another, like you can't do that as a landlord. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. You moved your. You he moved like he didn't move it physically. He told me, "Oh, so we need to put you in another place what? because of the mold." And I'm like, "No, because you're getting caught by the fucking board." Yeah. yeah, that's like people. That's like your landlord coming in here and telling you, "Hey, you guys gotta pack ship up and ship out. You have, we're gonna move your car yeah, street." I gotta move you. What the? Doesn't fuck? work like that. So <laughs> I go, and he managed to put me in a place smaller than what I yeah. originally was in. I'm like. He's like, oh, yeah, we're going to get you some shelves in here. I'm like, bro, we can barely fit in here. Us yeah. two, the door doesn't open fully. Man. Yeah. So I just said, fuck it, I need to get out of here. And yeah. I got lucky with that place. Went to Calgary, came back, moved in, and then been there ever since. And did, you, did you do Calgary? That was, like, right at the beginning of all this shit, too, right? Was that, Did they yeah. have, like, um, uh, was there audiences and stuff for that? So so that's why I thought December, because December, Calgary was still doing shows. Oh, right. okay. So that's why okay, the last okay. show I did... In Ca- was in Calgary. Yeah. Um, was at the Yuck Kicks. And there was so socially distanced. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. That. so um, right in the casino. But yeah, it was a crowd. Cool. It just sucks because I was in, the, it was me and Ola in the semis. Oh, no mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, and we were going to do, they were going to do the semis and the finals all in the same week. So it would have been done. Like, if we had one more week, yeah. one of us, we would like, one of us would have won it. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But it's Is it, was it put on hold or just canceled? I don't done? Know. Oh, I haven't nice. heard shit. Like things yeah. are opening up. Calgary, I see restaurants. The casinos open. And yep. the, yeah. Have you ever been to the Yuck Cooks? The casinos. It's in the casino. Oh right. shit. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So um, I don't. Know, I haven't heard anything. Mm. Maybe they're gonna start it over. I don't know
is, oh, yeah. I mean, you well, it seems like a bit out of the way. I just, yeah, it's yeah. fun, it's close, but like to get on a plane, like I was going yes. back, I was going back and forth to Calgary literally like every 10 days at one point because of yeah. the shows yeah. and stuff. I mean, much. for a lot of other people, like you definitely have a, like a hookup in the, in the plane category. Shout which out is, to my mother. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, for, especially like for a Canadian kind of competition set up like that, is yeah. if you were driving mm-hmm. that, what's it like 16 hours or something? Give it, well, I'm not sure. Either way, it's a bitch though. Going oh, there yeah, back, yeah, it's definitely To go through the mountains and shit, it's a bit of a Even flying, like flying, like people under I mean, flying the process of flying gets exhausting. Oh, oh absolutely, it takes yeah. it out of you. Hour yeah. before your flight, you're chilling in there. You're on the plane. You're wired. You have to make sure you get a lift and stuff like that. And if you're doing it frequent, like you have to be alert. Like you can yeah. rest, but your brain has to be going. So I'm mm-hmm. just like, well, even if like you get off the plane too, and you don't have like a rest day or something. So like if you're kind of fried like that, and then you just walk right into a casino, straight right to a show, yeah. like that's oh, straight God. to a show. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly that's, that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. That's like because yeah. I had stuff going. I had shows here, so yeah. it's like literally, I would fly out the morning. Stay there, chill for the entire day at a yeah. friend's house or whatever, mm-hmm. go do the show, and then come back at midnight or early in the morning the next day. And, oh, I'll stay for a day. Go right back to the airport. Stay, yeah, right oh, back, yeah. Oh I've done it. I did that from Montreal to Toronto. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. I had a show. I had, I had a show in Montreal and then um, flew in the morning to Toronto. Yeah. Stayed there the day, did the show, then caught a red eye back that night, and then I had to go to uh, work the next day oh my on the God. monday love of the game bitch. man yeah, i nice hate thing. the toronto airport because i've gotten stuck there so many times flying between like PTSD. montreal and the <laughs> island and whenever anything went wrong it was always in fucking toronto oh. <laughs> i'd be sitting in the airport all day being like it's like a half hour flight that yeah. i have left i've been traveling all fucking day and now i have to sit here for like six hours do you get fucked day. over in the same terminal too because like i've had yeah. that at the calgary airport flying mm-hmm. up for work so you're yeah. always kind of in the same like Area, um, like the canucks bar or whatever yeah. Yeah. the places you know yeah. what i mean you're like the fuck am i doing and it's here always again because like montreal yeah. would get like the freezing rain and shit oh, something would always fucking go yeah. wrong in the month i've been in the air going to montreal where like halfway through the flight a uh, flight attendant comes on and is like hey passengers we have some really bad news you for you. Another <laughs> <laughs> first of all terrible way to start the, an announcement and you're in the air <laughs> Really in the air <laughs> and she basically we had to turn around and land and stay overnight because yeah go back to Toronto Weather, or I, at this point at this flight was coming out of Winnipeg so I had to fly back to Winnipeg when we were halfway to Montreal because they couldn't uh like defrost the right. like the, the whole airport shut down because of freezing rain they have enough gas for that well, fuck! If they did that that night, there was like, <laughs> some kind of contingency. Yeah. Like, I mean, you yeah. have to have like yeah. extra. You know what I mean, yeah. right? Like, you got to pack a little bit more than you think. Really? You're gonna use. But how fuck, do you fucking yeah, like? Does somebody go outside and like plug it in or switch the tanks or something like that? I don't know. I don't know how. Well, like in the military, planes. they do. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like either. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, how do you just start halfway through? You're like, okay, we need to turn back. I'm like, wait, is there enough gas for this? Like, well, the I think, fuck? Well, yeah, like I a big seven forty-seven. Like, I mean, the tank on that thing would be huge. If you've seen the way they do it, like in the military, where like a fighter jet like kind of like docks with like. Uh, you know, with a bigger um, plane above it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's not what they're doing in commercial airlines. No, I'm sure. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, it would just, like, they, yeah. just for their own insurance and stuff like yeah. that, right? So, like, you'd have to, um, let's say you're flying um, to, like, a remote location where there's only, you know, the one airstrip there, then you would have to um, have enough fuel in that plane potentially to turn around and make it back yeah i think right. they have like, like extra I, I, I think they fill it up more than like the exact amount to. of gas yeah, that yeah, they yeah. need yeah. they Could probably like, yeah. just like, like back in the day <laughs> yeah. i got 275 yeah. in my pocket the worst, that's what i'm putting in the no the car. worst just put 20 yeah. in just the, put 20 in the worst would be if the pilot was like running on e and it's like i know my plane yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know my plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, man. I got this. Like, you look at the time, it's like, I know my plane. I just go with faith. <laughs> I'm like, no! Uh, fuck it, you better get some, get all the gas we this need. This is my baby, it. and I've never run out, and it ain't no, going to happen fuck today. That. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't need that stress in my life. Oh, my God. But no, flying's cool, though. Flying's fun. Travel. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't wait, wait to get, to get back, back at it, man. I have, like, one trip to Vegas booked in September that I'm really looking forward to. But, like, um, other than that, and well, actually, no, oh, now, now that we got this Montreal yeah, thing, like, yeah, yeah. like you can start to feel it come back. Like, I want to get exciting. the fuck out of town so 100%. bad, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, want to get back on stage too, but like, I just feel cooped up, like, mm-hmm. like, um, like, what do you call it? Uh, like fucking sickness or whatever, just kind of right. sitting like here. cabin fever. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right, but yeah, within yeah, a city yeah. and not just like in the place. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Crazy, I'm sick yeah. of. Yeah, I can't hang out here and I can't hang out in the city anymore. Like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. But well, mind me. you, like, if, if there's any place in Canada to 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 be like have cabin fever and be cooped up in, Vancouver is probably mm-hmm. the best. One hundred percent. I see that. Yeah, yeah. And what's yeah. wild? I noticed this. I noticed this the other day. I've met more people who aren't from Vancouver 
than people who were born and raised in Vancouver. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a weird ass city. Absolutely. It's like yeah. a beacon of just it's, everyone. Well, it's similar to LA in that sense, where like people oh, yeah. come here. They don't really, they aren't really born and raised here. I mean, some people are, but most few, people are. Very yeah, few. There's yeah, a few yeah, of yeah. them. I mean, my, my little sisters are, but like my, so my dad's been here um, for as long as I can remember, right? right? But so I've always kind of had a footing here, and I think that's really common for anybody um, like in BC. If you want to get out of like your small town or wherever you grew up, and this is obviously you go like to the, Vancouver, the yeah. best place to do. Yeah. But um, at five years later, um, you're realizing that that's like Canada wide or even yeah. like worldwide, right? Yeah. Like there's a lot of people that I kind of grew up around that when I came here, I was starting to hang out with or whatever, just as the easy friend to make right, and stuff yeah. like that. And then you realize, like, I, I maybe know five people, like, in that, my, in my mm-hmm. group of friends or uh, people that I know. Actual, like, yeah, yeah that are born and raised here. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, more <laughs> the, the ones that I do know, they're planning on getting out. That right. are still mm-hmm. born and raised here? Yeah, yeah, Why? it's weird. I have no idea. Just that that might just be specific to those people that I know or whatever. Right. Just for job opportunities or, okay, or whatever the sense. case. I don't know if the, uh, I don't know, the city's changing. It doesn't have the charm or whatever anymore. I don't know. I oh, love it. It would be hard to like stay in one place your whole life. I feel like everyone sort of gets that, or most people sort of get that feeling where they like need to leave. And no, yeah. To you should talk to my. You should talk to my whole graduating class in high school. Mm-hmm. They're all stagnant. Really? really? Oh yeah. There's like well, maybe ten percent of us. Not even ten percent. Like yeah. there are most of us. Like, I think like, I can count on like one hand how many of them actually like, left. Really? Like Quebec, mm-hmm. let alone left the the city, let alone fucking yeah. Because uh, so did you um, born and raised in Montreal? Born and raised. Oh, so I mean, is it a cool enough city that you can stick around and do enough? But because like, I my, think so. for I think my it's graduating it's class, for them to remain stagnant, mm-hmm. it, that's pretty fucked up because it's a, a small town of ten thousand people. Yeah, like, you're yeah. in the middle of nowhere, right? I mean, I think. Montreal, like just to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's yeah, not that I or mean, is it really like, I mean, um, it's like there's a lot trash. going yeah. on in the in the city, but uh, yeah, I think like we were just talking about this. We're both from small towns, and I think right. it's really common in small towns for people to just stay there yeah. forever. Yeah. But I think if you live in a city, you have more of an idea of like what else is out there. Yeah, maybe. but it's just but it's just yeah. weird to like just like because I like technically I grew up outside of Montreal, like yeah. just out on the outskirts, but yeah. it's like. Bro, go and see the world. Like the fact exactly, that, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, it makes no sense. But I don't know. I listen. I let them live their life. I'm oh yeah, but it Every still blows me the fuck away happy. when a friend of mine comes out to visit me and they're like, "So that's that's the ocean, right? Like that's what it tastes like salt." <laughs> yeah, I put my tongue yeah. in it. What's that smell? Is that fresh air? Yeah, yeah. man. Like <laughs> the fuck? you gotta run around a little bit. So man. you can yeah. see the mountains from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, no matter I put, where you are. At yep. my the house I grew up in on the island, from like the front uh, yard, you can like see the ocean. We're right by the ocean. And I had a friend of mine um, come over, and he is from New Brunswick, but we we met in Montreal. And anyways, we walked out of the front door, and he's like, "Oh, is that like a lake?" <laughs> like, that is the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess though. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Just a it bigger is a body, body of water. water. Yeah. yeah. A bigger body of water. There's no streams. It's just yeah. those are waves, not streams. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's you know, uh, a. It reminds me of like a, like an old timey attitude though, because I go like I get cooped up. I get cabin fever in a goddamn mm-hmm. city, right? So yeah. if I don't like, I have that that need to like put yourself in a weird position, kind of get your heart pumping right. or go out mm-hmm. on an adventure, mm-hmm. right? Like that's something that like I gotta do. Yeah. So it's always I. I I get antsy when I talk to people that just, um, you know, they just stay put. Well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, but that's yeah. your Stagnant. life, right? To them, it's just like it's it's nah. cool to them. But I, yeah, I get I get anxious. Like, what no, the oh, fuck are we doing? Alarms going off. Nah, it's I. I mean, I can, I could never be like that. It's just like I used to like never had the travel bug and everything until I got yeah. into stand up, and I was like, yeah, no, this is. This is something I definitely, definitely need to like explore. And stuff yeah, like that. yeah, and, I, and I, I like living in different areas too. Like when I went to Montreal, I had lived on like the in a fucking small town on an island my whole life, and so that was like a huge. Yeah, Montreal was uh, a, Montreal be like a sh- like a, a shock shock. system. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, but then like once I was there, I was like, oh, like I, I'm. It made me realize that I was like more of a city person. Where the yeah. whole, my whole life, I was like, "Well, I'm from like a small town on an island. I'm like a small town girl type yeah. thing." And then, so I went to Montreal, then came back to the island. And on the when I was on the island, I was like, "Oh, this fucking sucks. Like, <laughs> I need to live in totally. a city. This is garbage." Yeah, yeah. well, I, you're gonna I, love I, it. I always just thought yeah. that I was like, uh, I always just thought I was like an unhappy person or something. I never <laughs> felt like uh, I just thought you were the problem. Yeah, yeah. totally, dude. I, I grew up in these places, and I'm like, "Fuck, something's not right here," you know? Like, or maybe yeah. like it's got to be me, right? Yeah. I, why am I just being an I asshole? Maybe I'm, I'm a dick. No. And then you come out here, and then you realize, mm-hmm. oh, wait a minute, there's life out there. I enjoy the, I, I, I want it to be noisy when I go to bed yep. at night. I want to mm-hmm. hear the, you yep. know, the hustle and bustle and yeah, shit like that. Yeah. I want to, 
you know, go to a show. I want to walk down love and Montreal maybe get into some trouble or something like that, yeah. right? Every, I just need yeah. new experiences. You're going to love Montreal, I'm especially because you guys yeah, are going around just for laughs. So Dude, I'm going to be there. It's going to be fucking Fuck yeah, insane. we're going to have so much yeah, fun. Man, just the, it's yeah, different, I, but... The it's idea of just walking around the... They like, kind of get to soak up, like, the city I've never been to, but the thought of maybe even getting on a um, on a stage there would be fucking so... Well, I'm going to try to make it happen. I mean, shows should be going on. I know they're already booking for shows. All my friends call me, so, yo, when are you coming back? And I was like, I just got here. Let me live. Yeah. And it's like, well, wait, we're booking shows, so, like, I want to get you on it. And I was like, I'll be home for like maybe 10 to 10 days to two weeks mm-hmm. in July. That's yeah. so serendipitous. Yeah, we'll that's be awesome. there at the same time. It's going to be dope yeah. as hell. We'll do episode two out there if you got if I'm yeah. so well, I down. Gonna, I think we're going to try and bring our, bring our equipment. I mean, why yeah. you just nothing? You just oh, bro, put, put, it, put it all in. Yeah. 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 It's a little yeah. setup you guys have here. It's easy. Yeah, hell yeah man. Well, it's okay. Fu- so. Yeah, enough of the shit. Let's get to this music. Yeah, man. So tell us about the album that. So the album's by Vito. Uh, it's his, I believe it's his fourth album. I, I, uh, discovered him, uh, probably like about a year ago and I, well, honestly, I'm a horrible fan cause I didn't know he had that much music out. He has like, that was like his fourth mm-hmm. album. Right. And I don't know. I love, I'm an R&B guy. Like yeah. I love R&B. Mm-hmm. I love, I grew up on it and, uh, it's just, that is like new, like a new artist, but doing old school, like nineties. It, dude, like, it felt like something, um. Like some Usher, or like I mean, yeah. like R. Mm-hmm. Kelly or something like that. Like it was disclaimer, it, it, disclaimer. It, 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 they actually listen to the music. They don't just come here <laughs> and just <laughs> ask me. <laughs> they they actually listen to the album as well. Just in case you guys are wondering, I had the same question. For our viewers, we don't get into the music a lot, yeah. but we do do the homework. Man. Like it was funny because um, especially when you said that, like you you kind of had to laugh going, we might not be as into this, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the only problem that I had with it is that. I wasn't fucking when I heard it for the yeah, first time. Yeah, the, exactly. the only it's thing you can describe this shit. music as is like fuck music. Yeah, 100%. Like, this, and that's like exactly I don't I know it. any other scenario where you would put it on and it would feel yep. like it fits the situation. Well, I listen to it in the gym. I'm <laughs> really, I do. I at the gym. I be at the gym. Have the whole album go. I swear to God. The first, t- the first song in the in, in the fucking album is best sex ever. It's true, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Best sex ever. A couple songs that. later, big old but booty is my jam. Big old booty. A couple <laughs> songs later, yeah. you got. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking. It's good. And throwing back to like so like that. There's a uh, there was a lot of uh, sexual of innuendos. Songs. Oh, yeah, there's a lot bro. of sexual innuendos. Do you? So when? Uh, what is uh, What is it like to have sex with you when you like are fucking? Do you like uh, yeah. set? Do you set a scene? Do you put on? Do you put on this? Oh, album? you're talking about the aesthetic. Light Few candles, like are yeah, you a man, the sensual music that I listen guy? To is too fast. Because like, for this, this the is, tempo. You don't. Okay. You don't fuck to this music. This is like a sensual. Okay. Love you make passionate love. Album. Yeah. It de- honestly, yeah. it depends on who it is, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like some 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 people don't get music. Mm-hmm. Some women don't get music at all. Yeah. Oh, some okay. women just get like, all right, like some people. Someone will get my pants and my ankles, and that's it. Yep. Like we're yep. not like t-shirt <laughs> halfway yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I get hot. Yeah. I'll do the one of these. You know, put it right like here. Just like a foot back on. Right, and then some get the some get the work, but just know if I put this on, yeah. it, we go together. Oh, this for is, sure, yeah. yeah. And this 100%. is like uh, like yeah, fireworks yeah, yeah, are happening yeah, yeah. and shit 100%. like that. Like you're making you don't eye put contact. this on with this a stranger. Is mm-hmm. The problem with this yeah. album though, it's high risk, high reward, right? Because yeah. you get, somebody's gonna fall in love with you when you fucking. This is the thing. I equate this <laughs> this this album like 365 days. Mm-hmm. You've seen that movie on Netflix? It's the whole. It's like the softcore porn. Go watch it together. No. I promise you guys. So okay. this album is like you put it on, and. It, like it's one of two things that happen. Mm-hmm. Either she's gonna get really, really wet, mm-hmm. right, and want to fuck you. Yeah. Or she's gonna get really, really wet and want to fuck somebody else. <laughs> okay. I, so I feel like there are a few other. My self esteem. No, my self. So if you had to make sure you know, because like this guy, this is guaranteed <laughs> no, making no some. No matter what happens, she's gonna be really horny, really wet, horny, hundred <laughs> percent. She's gonna be. Listen to the words. Best sex ever, 100% sure. top to bottom. It's a fucking album. See, but yeah, you got you're, sure. you're, you got to assume that the girl that uh, you know that you're getting with here is into R and B. See, for mm-hmm. me, a lot of the girls that listen to the music that I listen to, or whatever, right. some of the girls that I'm having sex with, if we put this on and we were like looking at each other's eyes, it would be funny for a moment, right? It would be hard for me mm-hmm. to take this seriously because I'm not an R and B dude, but right? You're and I do Oh, yeah, dude, I do well, man. You're so it's bad. all no, good. But you're, yeah, right? like, Jack, <laughs> what are you doing? We're doing okay. You're getting bachelor <laughs> activity regardless. Yeah. 
Oh, absolutely. Whether you whether you like the music or whether you're R and B person or not, you put this song on. It enhances. It makes me. your intentions yeah. one hundred percent clear. Yeah, yeah. you know exactly. So you just, so you're just, There's you nothing just, subtle about. This. Yeah, no, yeah. You, just, yeah. you were just listening to this casually. No. Well, mm-hmm. that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can't just put this on like you're having dinner and no. you're like, let's just listen to some casual tunes. Yeah. No. Like you you know what's about to go down. Yeah. Right? Oh, I what listened to it this yeah. morning when yeah. I was cleaning yeah. my apartment yeah. and I just realized like I'm gonna p- I gotta stop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wax this real boner? quick. Here. Oh yeah, dude, Why I, do I have a boner. I'm I had to crank down halfway through this thing, man. It was it was that good. What it the got, fuck? And I think like for an art, for somebody making this kind of music, that's got to be the highest compliment, you know, that you can 100%. have, right? He probably doesn't want to hear it. Like I'm not gonna FaceTime and be like, "Yo, thanks, for Vito, that, man. you killed it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder if like, do you think like like he would fuck to his own music? Yes. Is that conceited? Uh, You'd have to be a, a fucking ego maniac, but you don't make this kind of music if you're not, right? I'm okay with that, right? Like okay. I would watch, I, mean, yeah. I would watch, you know. When when I record my shit, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to my own jokes and stuff like. But that. do you do it for homework or do you do it like like? If uh, you, yeah, you're well, on a that's date. a good point. I would probably be doing. I, saying, I, right? Well, yeah. I would a hundred percent put on an audio recording of me doing stand up to fuck to. Really? Oh I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that next That'd time. Be amazing. Yeah. You have to do it next time. <laughs> You have to do it. I've done that before. That'd be awesome. But just like I've lock the door. Like this is yeah. you're to be here for a while. I've I've done that before. I've literally gone. I've literally like, hey, do you want to? Like, she like you do comedy. I was like yeah. Like who's your favorite comedian? Oh, you want me to put it on? I'll just like put on a YouTube clip of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really? I was like that's, hey, that's foreplay. That's, that's what's that's up. Swear to God. <laughs> yeah, but no, you got to be confident in yourself. If you're not I'm into so your own shit, it. then like I cannot stand comics that sit there and just shit on themselves the entire time. Like oh. if that's what you're, if that's what like, the if, I if didn't the joke think is there. That was hilarious. I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, exactly. So then you're right. Vito yeah. probably he knows he's exactly. Amazing. He I makes so. music that he wants to fuck. To. That's great. I wonder yeah. if his friends listen to his music while. That would be crazy. That would be, is that yeah. more yeah. awkward wow. than listening to yourself? I think so. Listening to like your friend. Like you know, this is your boy. Yeah, yeah that's kind that. of. Weird. I, <laughs> the the friends and family that support you to the end, like that's the cool. That's the coolest shit. But right. at some point, you got to draw the line. Yeah. Right. Like uh, there's a lot of music out there to fuck to. You know, right? Like, yeah, I'll go to the show. I'll, you know, share all your shit on Instagram mm-hmm. and all that stuff, right? But when it comes time to like me and my lady, probably not gonna put my best friend's jams on. It's that supposed to be awesome. like she might be like in the inviting your friend into the bedroom with yeah. you. Like yeah. metaphorically, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. totally. I would having, just Vito. having that association. I would want Vito to like sing live. Oh, while I'm fucking. I'm into 100%. some weird shit. So like, I wonder yeah, if, he, if, I wonder if you could pay him to do that. I wonder if he's open. I don't think that. he would do it. No? He'd probably take the money and just leave. Well, probably. COVID's yeah. been hard for everybody, man. Maybe he's doing <laughs> yeah. backyard parties and <laughs> shit like that. You yeah. never know, man. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Capacity yeah. events. Just yeah. Just two people. Just fucking while. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's it. We'll be all right. Yeah, we, we need a private concert. That's, like, that's the type of money people. I need. Yeah. That's the type of money I want. Oh, oh dude. Like yeah. a playlist. I want a cold concert Absolutely. live while oh, I'm fucking. God, man. Oh, hell that would yeah. Be a, like, I'd, yeah. I'd, just the just for the round of applause. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I just want. I just want the people's love. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, if we could just. You know, stand up and take a, a bow afterwards. I would like love him, like, <laughs> doing, like, banter in between songs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obs- I'm How are we doing tonight, Vancouver? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you guys enjoying this soap? Yeah, we're just going clap, 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 clap. Yeah, they're enjoying it. Oh, man. But no, I really, this album was really, like, when you guys told me to pick one, I was like, shit, this is a lot. But then I was literally listening to one of the songs, and I was like, yeah, I got to go with this one. No, I, just, I mean, I love it's different from any other album that we've done. It was I figured it would Yeah, be. oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the no, coolest part it. of the show is that, like, yeah. we're not going to go out of our way to probably listen to, like, who's, like, the new R&B cat that's out right now right. and stuff. And it's just not, like, on mm-hmm. the radar. But, um, you know going into it i'm usually like the voice of antagonism here like i'm gonna find <laughs> something that you know just attract some like. jokes and, mm-hmm. but dude like the guy's name is vito johnny devito vito. i'm running around <laughs> singing the fucking shit like it's it's for me right <laughs> i used to do that to snoop dogg songs back in the things like east side lbc i'm from east side trail bc and yeah. shit so i've been doing that my entire <laughs> remixing life. it to make it Hell relatable yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like i'm an egomaniac too bro i'm trying to put myself into that song. are you gonna but are you gonna listen to the are you gonna play the album next time you're fornicating a hundred percent yeah well i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on and see what happens like, i'm gonna see which i'm gonna I'm gonna take the cues, right? Because there's like, um, yeah, there's a girl that I'm, uh, that I have sex with. She's rather like a Marilyn Manson or something, like a little bit heavier, right? While you're mm. fucking, bro, yeah, man, it's awesome, dude. You never done killing Satan. strangers, no, nah, bro. No, it's awesome. Never. It's, it, well, like, but just something, maybe like Marilyn Manson for like the like the weird tone or something, you know? Because it's kind of like gothy and stuff like that. But I prefer something like a little more like fast paced, you know, like punk rock or something like that, like heavy. Mm-hmm. While you're fucking, like that. yeah, bro, it's awesome, man. Like I'm, I. It's my heartbeat just, you know, just... Who are you sleeping with? 
you know, fucking, I'm what old kind now, of so fucking like, I can only go for like a song and a half, but like, you know, I'm, I'm A song old. and a half, I'm dead. Yeah, man. And Do you try to catch like question. four or five minutes. Do you guys try to keep track of how many songs go by? Or you're fucking, okay, so I know that can last at least three songs. It's bad because some yeah. albums, yeah. some albums yeah. I know so well that I can't listen to them when I'm, when I'm fucking, because like, um, I've, I've listened to it so many times. I know the lyrics too well. I know the songs too well. So I know exactly where we are. And like, there's going to be a pause here really quick and then I'll mm-hmm. go back in. And you start, so you go to the rhythm yeah, of this. Uh, yeah, 100%. Why? Because I'm a fucking animal like that. It's just weird. It's something that I started it's doing. It's so bizarre. And yeah, well, I started doing it when I was like in high school. And, like, you, you find like a passionate moment that happens, right? And then you fucking recreate that until you're 31 and you wonder why <laughs> you're still unhappy. You know? I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't fucking in high school. Oh, no? I wasn't getting Dude, out. you would have loved it, man. Fucking high school? Yeah, man. Nah, that was my graduating class. Oh, really? Nah, they were all fucking each other. It was weird. Think about it, because in high school, relationships what lasted like a yeah. season, so three months. Mm-hmm. Then they started dating someone else in the school because they only saw, that's yeah. all the people they saw like seven days a week. Yeah. So it's yeah, like you're literally man. passing around. No, I went I to like, a eating. private boarding school. <laughs> I really? Was, yeah. I oh, wasn't fucking whore. in high school. Oh, no, yeah, I like did not fuck in high school at all. At all? At all. Was it all girls? No. Time out. We need to unpack this. Yeah. Fuck the album. Yeah. Fuck yeah, the album. Yeah. I feel like this is a lot deeper. A co ed <laughs> boarding school where they're locked up in a place for like 90% I didn't, of the time I didn't and live nobody there. was fucking. I was a day student. I didn't live there. I lived 20 minutes. Uh, oh, that's why together. you weren't fucking. Yeah. Well, she yeah. And always because I was, I was an awkward teenager. But time out. But other, you had friends that were living there. Yes. So what would you guys do between classes? Uh, we, between classes, we would walk to the next class. Time up, but there's no like free period. Like you have school uh, all day. Well, yeah, at school would start at you know whatever eight. We would have academics until like I don't know two or something like really that. And then we would have weed, like, either yeah. we would have either then like fine arts or sport. Like it was fucking full on. You didn't have a lot of free time. Pretty much all of your time was accounted for. That's either. stupid. Yeah, yeah that it fucking sucked. Terrible. It that was awful. Stupid. Why didn't you sleep there? Because I because I didn't have to. Because oh, I lived down the road. Dope. Why yeah, the like fuck would I live there? I'm yeah. just saying it would have been dope. All right, yeah. so uh, I feel like I took over the podcast. I'm asking you guys all the questions. No, oh, no, dude. Go, no. go, to, like go, to, go to song to fuck to. Like, if you had to pick one. I always go hip hop. I usually, uh, yeah. It's the cakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got the it's mom 808 jeans. drums, baby. She's got the mom jeans, but the bunta is there. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. That's what I call ass now. Oh, oh okay. I, like, I, I saw this, I saw this YouTube video where these means, British guys calling the like bunda. It. I was like, that's, that's what I like it's when, it, like when, <laughs> when slang evolves to the point where I can't adopt it anymore. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, like, yeah, there's <laughs> no way. There's no way white boys are stealing that one. Bunda. You can't say that. So go to song, hip hop. Oh, go to song. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, or genre. Go, well, I know you like. Go to yeah. uh, go to album. Um, uh, I usually go with like if I if it's just like spur of the moment. Yeah. Let's put on a song. My the thing I search on Spotify is usually Anderson Pack. Oh shit, yeah. that's different. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's different. <laughs> that yeah. is fucking different. Dude, I did not get expect those drums that. going, man. I'm telling you, Anderson Pack. Yeah, yeah bro. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> God, leave. <laughs> and just any song? Or is there a specific uh, song? No, no, any pretty playlist? much any song. No, I don't yeah. have a playlist. I don't have a fuck playlist. Oh, <laughs> oh, <do you? laughs> oh hell yeah. Um, I well there's two it. different it's like depending on the situation, depending on Can the mood. So me? if I'm gonna go um well there well just just albums, right? So oh, okay, like, that's good, my good. thing. So Yeah, I'll um, put on an album, not yeah, a playlist. right. So yeah, I do like yeah. if I want it to be like um if I want to really chill and kind of draw it out, um Operation Doomsday, MF Doom is just very okay. chill and kind of like the, the vibes there. And if I want it to be a little bit more um, intense and like amp up the thing, it would be um, uh, Refuse, The Shape of Punk to Come. It's okay. really fast and kind I of, gotta pretend to know it's this. weird and, but not too weird and hard, but not too hard. It's, it's so, how, so, so is the, do you decide it based off the girl or just your mood yeah. for the day? Yeah, based off the girl and stuff. Cause I mean, I'm music such like a huge part of, of my life. So then if, if we're, it's probably going to come up a conversation. Right, so right. if she's into something similar that I am into too, then you go back and like, I mean, it might even be fucking Green Day or something. If you really vibed on that, like over mm-hmm. at dinner, if that's what you're talking about, then you come back and you, you know, so it, it's gonna be fun. Okay. But, like, but if I'm, yeah, if I got my pick and like maybe she hasn't heard it before, but likes that kind of genre of music or whatever, then I'll put on Refused, and it's like, what the fuck was that? So you shot. So mm-hmm. like, do you? Okay, I had to figure out how to perform this question. I've been drinking, good people. Yeah, it's all good. Um, so. Do you do it to make her comfortable or to get you like your stroke game working? Um, a little bit of both because it's usually like um, it's usually like drinking is, is kind of involved, right? It's like of the, uh, the I don't put the um the album on specifically to have sex, but like it's gonna happen by like the second or third track because like I know yeah how you know how it goes yeah absolutely right so you just know how it goes yeah that's what I do with this song out the gate 
Totally. <laughs> <laughs> that sex you don't ever. Listen. know yet, but I know what's happening sex. by that, track That, honestly, three. that gets yeah, me in trouble like, sometimes. I played it once. I played it once. Best sex ever. I was like, really? Is it? So Ooh, I was like, I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, you gotta step that up. Yeah, but I pick women up. Like I, like I, like I. Oh, yeah. you're fit. Like yeah, you're doing okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. picking them up. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. Like I gotta mm-hmm. like count on um, like that. I'm gonna be like fun and a little bit different or whatever. Like you're not gonna. It's nothing to really write home about. But yeah. It's a good time. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. The best thing about <laughs> sex with about. me is like that. It's like it's comfortable and you're probably gonna. Come it's a vibe. Back. Yeah, yeah. Right? it's a vibe. <laughs> right. But like when you're like so when you're like getting so you're in the gym right listening to this shit right the um. Is that like is is pussy your main motivation for being? Because like I mean, you're that's a good fit. fucking question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fucking question. Like, what are you working so hard for, man? You're a good looking dude. You got a smooth voice and shit like I that. I try. Like, it's, ra- it's, da- it's raspy as fuck because I've just been drinking all fucking last three days. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's yeah. fucking ten months, but anyways. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, you know what's crazy? I had this I had this thought the other day, and I have nobody to talk about it, but I'll also talk about it with you guys. It's like is 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 vaginal activity my motivation to be successful in the gym? I don't think it is. I think it's just. I think it's just a byproduct of be doing all those things. Like I think totally. I don't mm-hmm. think if 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 all the vagina like you got into a whole mm-hmm. like vagina like chaotic vagina accident and you lost your vagina, right? And you were the last woman on earth <laughs> and nobody could fuck anymore. Chaotic right? vagina accident. I said what I said. So I don't think I don't you think painted the, yeah, you painted the picture. This uh, is the world in a world. Great band name. Patent <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> pending. Yeah. Patent fucking pending. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't think I would stop doing the things that I would do. Yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. if something's your motivation, mm-hmm. if you didn't have if that was out of the question for you to get, mm-hmm. like you couldn't have acquire it anymore. Would you stop doing the things? I still would go to the gym. Well, it sounds mm-hmm. like you love to do it then. Like, do you? What do you? I don't like going to the gym at all. Oh, really? I, I don't. think oh, okay. that I, I like the process. I, I like the results. Exercise, yeah. so I don't get insanely depressed. Right. Like that's what that's my motivation mm-hmm. is to feel better myself. Right. Then not so much. And like it's cool to like look look good and shit. But I think pleasing. Yeah, yeah, and that's like an added bonus. And it does make you feel even better too right. when you see results and shit. But I think my main motivation is to feel better. Just my like motivation I go there and get depressed. I hate the gym. <laughs> really? I really I really don't I do. I don't like the gym. I've never but do you not feel better afterwards? Nope. Really? Mm-mm. I like what? the result. I like okay. l- how I look in the mirror. Right. Yeah. Right, right, and right. I know the only way to get that. Right. It's like my my love my uh, appreciation for how I look outweighs my hatred for the gym. I hated it since I I was playing football in college. I hated mm-hmm. the gym. It's not fun. Shit yeah, hurts. Yeah, yeah. And in college, yeah, I was playing football. It's like they train you to like be like as strong as possible. Oh, so totally. you're bench pressing all you're just yeah. bulking up, bulking up, bulking yeah, up. Yeah. And it's like I had no business being that strong. Yeah. Who won the fucking squat? Five plates, like it makes no and sense. And like going to a gym isn't fun too. I don't like working yeah. out around other people. At I, all. Do, I like doing home workouts. So she like fit. So like when, when you're yeah. playing football and stuff, was there a competitive edge there? Like what were like? I mean, obviously going from like a, I mean you you want to get to the next level, right? That's probably right. really pushing you so hard, right? right? So if you, um, like if you were coming from a, an area where competition was like the main motivation or whatever, right? Like you're you know you're trying to get to that next level mm-hmm. when you're out here, you know, like at some point. What the fuck are you doing it for if you're not doing it? I mean, the, there, there has to be some, some and that's positive. Pe- and right? that's but where that's people fall off in university. Yeah. People are like, I'm busting my ass to play the sport. What's the likelihood of me going pro? Not that high. But uh, how, how, what was the co- um, like? What was the career like? How did you? Uh, how it was did you good. Yeah. I just fucked up in school. I was. I just didn't Fair like school. Yeah. I'd be listening to R and B instead of doing my fucking homework <laughs> and some shit yeah, like that. Listen right? to fuck music. I, yeah. I, since I was a kid, I'm telling you, my mom started me early. Really, my like mom what? was the one who introduced me to. She oh, like yeah, so. Your mom's big into R and B. What's the chance? Keith Sweat. Yeah. Keith Sweat. <laughs> a Tank. Yeah. Um. Who else? Um. Like genuine. All that. The okay, Pony. Hell yeah. That was the okay. original one in high school. Right. No Pony shit. was like. No, but we didn't know what the fuck that meant. Yeah. We thought we were talking about a small horse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're in fucking elementary school, high school. You're like, oh, we're, 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 he's talking about a pony. Uh, yeah. As soon as you caught ignition by R. Kelly, I thought he was talking about cars. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. waiting yeah. for that song oh, to be on God. the Fast and Furious soundtrack. Uh, I'm like, we should have put ignition on there. He's like, do you know what the key in the ignition is? And I was like, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> and that's it. So it's like, I was singing all these songs and like vibing yeah. to all these songs at a young yeah. age. So just naturally I gravitate towards it. Well that's yeah, interesting like that my mom's music I like um I did so much to kind of like rebel against like to, to go against it, right? So it's just interesting mm-hmm. to Oh, so you Oh, okay, fair enough. Mm. Um I'm asking if your mom was Oh, no, no, no. My mom was um my mom was just kind of heavy into uh into classic rock and just like, you know, white people shit of the 90s or whatever, which was I, I I mean, yeah, it was 70s up to the 90s and stuff, which was fine, but there was mm-hmm. nothing like dangerous there. There was nothing that uh 
um, that was really speaking to me at the time. Right. I'm cool, I, I'm getting older now, so it's kind of cool now that we're listening to it, right? I'm trying yeah. not to be a f- like I was such a fucking uh, pretentious little asshole, right? Like <laughs> I, I, I know that I know the best, right? Like I, if it isn't punk, it sucks. It's like fuck you. Like I'm gonna find the best thing. See, then I have an older brother too, right. so it was always like, um, who's gonna find the best? new shit right we we're always mm-hmm. kind of hunting for stuff and these guys were into like pantera and metallica and okay it was like a little too like redneck and backwoods like to like a little too aggressive so i had I'm a like, friend in high school who like yeah. all the, that's all they listen to oh yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah yeah right so for me i'm like okay so i like i like hard heavy music but i don't like these people so i know that there's like um people making fast music that are just better people right, right? Yeah. you don't have to deal with the fucking 100 racism sexism fucking homophobia all the bullshit or whatever mm-hmm. that goes along with like you know acid wash jeans and kind of like heavy metal <laughs> yeah. music of the day that I was kind of coming around. So it was mm-hmm. just constantly trying to find my own thing. Right. And then, you know, realizing that, Oh shit. Like the, the, the stuff that I was getting put onto as a kid, wasn't that bad. No. Yeah. You know, right. I but I definitely I did wasn't did running around listening turn to him R&B. into a bit of a Fleetwood Mac fan. Bro, that's a good band. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fleetwood yeah, yeah. Mac. You gotta send me all that stuff at the, at oh, the end of this. Yeah, yeah, man. Dude. It was, it was fun. Like, well, if you watch the podcast, yeah, get it, get, you know, <laughs> I watched Peter's just for the shout out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he told me to shout me out. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Peter Grant. Give him some, give him some love. That's my dude right there. Oh, oh, I love that guy. We got I hammered with Peter on I Friday. I can fucking oh, imagine. Did you listen to the, the latest episode of Access Granted? He fucking talks about... We were hanging out here on my birthday on Friday, and he... Fucking drives home like an idiot and gets pulled over. Clown. But yeah, and he, he, I'm not saying, I'm not speaking on a term it, because he said all this shit on his own podcast. Clown. Man, yeah. Clown. And he, yeah, like, dude, wasn't him, gonna, like, oh, he kept putting it all. He was saying he was gonna go home for like four hours. Before and just kept hanging out. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. But I think was cool, that's, man. but then I think that's what saved him because he kept putting it off. Right. So he actually, like, Sober Had up he a left at the time, yeah. he was going to let. No, no, he blew like fucking like one point under. What like, a lucky clown. son of a bitch. Oh my I god! I cannot. Bro. Fuck. He called Johnny. It was like what, like half an hour after he left. Might have been and three in the morning. Or yeah, something, yeah, I cannot believe that. And you guys were all hanging out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. fucking dope. Fuck, man. Oh yeah. no, he's a he's a he's a goof. But no, shout out to guy. Definitely one of the kind. Yeah, yeah we were we were hanging out at Kino the other night too. And I should have fucking came. Anyways, next time you guys hang out. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm so fucking down. I'm so fucking. We'll get another cord to Mike. I'm so down. I need to make. I need to hang out with more people. It's hot in here. God damn. Yeah, I know we got there. I know I fucking he took off his shirt last time. Jesus yeah, Christ. He was doing it because like he's Feel a, free yeah, to undress. I mean, listen. <laughs> hey, bro. If, listen, if it's a party, we're going to party. Hey, if we put on some veto, <laughs> then yeah, you'll have Absolutely. Yeah. That's going to be a fucking mess. If you come into Jesus a... Jesus Christ. Yeah. Someone's going to be hanging off the balcony. <laughs> bro, if you come into an apartment like this and you're afraid to get butt naked, then you shouldn't be listing a veto in the first place, <laughs> yeah. man. That's that's what's up. But, okay. There's more room. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, back up. Let's uh, speak. Also, shout out, shout out to my mom. Shout, yeah, shout out to her mom. Uh, yeah, Mount Gay Listen, Rum Mount. Rec recommendation. Bless your heart. But uh, yeah, so Vito, I did do a little bit of research. Okay. So he was on The Voice, yeah. Yes, he was. And Usher was his mentor, which made which a lot of sense. More to sense, me. yeah. Uh, because obviously his music is very Perfect. influenced by Usher and has yeah. sort of the same sound. And so I guess this this Thank is you. sort of a two parter. This question. Go ahead. One, like, who do you think in your comedy influenced you the most? And two, if you could pick any comedian, living or dead, to be your mentor, who would it be? So I'll answer the second one first. Bernie Mac. Okay. Hell yeah, okay, dude. Right 100%. On. Yeah, Hell yeah. Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Cool. I teared up when he cried, and that's before I even got into stand up. Yeah. The yeah. I grew up watching the Kings. I grew up watching stand up, like, yep. like mm-hmm. Comic View. No, the Kangs of Comic. Like uh, the Kangs. Kangs of comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was so, the shit. So all those guys, like watching all the shows, Bernie Mac show, everything. Oh, yeah. That mm-hmm. was like, he was by far my favorite. He's on the Mount Rushmore for me right. too. Like yeah. Yeah. not only like a um, on stage performance, but comedic actor as well. Like a Bad everything. Santa yeah. and like all of that. Bad shit, Santa. But, like, Ocean uh, guess who? Oceans, I, just the oceans so things alone. It's like yeah. the Def Jam, I'm yeah. you motherfuckers. Like yeah. that motherfucker. Yeah. Everything. Like, dude, the best. Yeah. That, you, know, do you know the story, the history behind that, right? Yeah, everybody was eating shit. And yeah, he, the guy, yeah. The guy, he was the only, <laughs> everyone was eating shit before him. Right. And he's like, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. And it doesn't set. And it's like, he was great. He the, turned yeah. that whole show around, man. Like amazing. That, he fucking blew the roof uh, off that place. Amazing. But to answer your first question, was the, the influence, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I actually got into comedy uh, to prove to somebody that I couldn't do it. Oh, fuck okay. yeah, dude. So, yeah. I was like, I, no, that I could not do. Like, I, oh. I thought that I wouldn't be good. Oh, my God. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So I was like, so I had a friend. Shout out to Evangelia Alexopoulos. She's a f- comic friend from Montreal. Cool. I'll introduce you guys when you guys are there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I get there, and she's like, she. we've been friends since college, and she does stand-up, and she took something I said in a conversation on the phone, and she went up on stage and did it, and she said it was her best joke of the night. Yeah. She's like, it would sound so much funnier if you said it. Mm-hmm. I was like, how many times do I got to t
I'm just that funny dude in a group mm-hmm. yeah. of people. That's it. I just I don't write material. I just like say shit that I address, and it just people just happen to laugh. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So she's like, "Okay, humor me. If you just go up on stage, do five minutes of jokes, and then and then if you don't get a laugh, I'll leave you alone about it." So Fuck I said, you know off, what? really? Okay, so How so old are you at the time? Uh, it was three and a half years ago, so I was like 26, 25. No yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Wow. So yeah. I go up on this place called Grumpy's. You guys are going to love it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Grumpy's, <laughs> nobody's paying attention. It's a yeah. place where the comics just go and they kind of hang out. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. Similar to Kino. Yep. Okay. I go up. Nobody's listening. Nobody's paying attention. Mind you, I'm not even doing no setup, no punchline. I'm literally just talking. Yeah. So uh, I love my grandma. And I'm not putting no energy into it at all. Nobody's laughing. Was any of this prepared going nope. up there? Oh, fuck yeah. Nope. Okay, cool. Nope. Are so you I, feeling the sweat or are you kind of... Are, I, wasn't, are you, I didn't care. Yeah. I wasn't shit. nervous at all. I You're wasn't nervous. Dude, that's the way yeah. to do it. Yeah. 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 Sitting in the silence too, just hanging out. Yeah. Just just talking. I was like, oh, is, my, is that the... Oh, does that, does that light mean I'm done? Okay, cool. Oh, bye. Thank you very much for your time. And I just left. Mm-hmm. Then she brought me to the Comedy Nest, which is a local comedy club. Oh, in I've show. been there. There you go. So good. Yeah. So I went... So... And I got... I went there... Gave it a little bit more because, like, okay, this is a fucking, mm-hmm. this is not no bar. This is yeah. a comedy yeah. club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gave it a little bit more. Got a standing ovation. No shit. Yeah. Wow. And then I was like, you know what? It felt good. I yeah. can commit to this once a month. Then I got asked to do a, a college show, fresh, like, new semester show. Yeah. They asked for 20 minutes. Now, at the time, I only had five minutes of material. So I had to, like, really work hard. So I did 20 minutes. It was went amazing. No shit. Kids yeah. came up to me afterwards, asking for pictures. And the guy comes up to me, he's like, yo, the, the kids loved it. You guys are definitely going to have you back. Um, so our pay cycle just happened. So mm-hmm. it's going to be about two to three weeks to get you guys in the system and then pay you. But is 200 okay? And I was like, 200 what? And he's like, dollars. And I was like, you're going to pay me $200? Like, like a month here in or something mm-hmm. like Not that? Not even. Maybe. Not even. Wow. Like maybe max a month and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was like, you're going to pay me $200 for what I just did? And he's like, well, is that not enough? Because we could probably get more in the budget. I was like, that will suffice. <laughs> <laughs> so so a couple weeks go by. And this is the time when I was living with my mom. Yeah. She's a check. like, what, where is this check coming from this school for? And I'm like, first of all, how do you know it's a check? You know it's illegal to open other people's mail, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> mom doesn't give a shit. Yeah, no, shit. Anything, anything with my name on it comes to my mother's <laughs> house. She's matter. opening that shit. Open yeah. it. She's like, hey, so Johnny, you my know mom, you got this, right? Yeah. I just mom. wanted to read it to you over the phone just in case you were wondering what it was. My mom will call me as she's opening. She, you can hear the envelope ripping. She's like, so much. I'm just checking if it's okay that I doesn't, doesn't, yeah. It's okay. She's asked to open it to see if it's okay if she yeah, opens it. Yeah, exactly. She's like, oh, I shouldn't have looked at that. STD test results open. For me, it's always final notice. Like, somebody wants money. Yeah, that's like, it. Mom, right. don't like throw that shit away. That's it. So my mom's looking at this check. She's like, this is two hundred dollars. And I'm like, what is this for? Like, Remember the show I did a couple weeks ago? She's like, yeah. It's like, you know, Kim, if you do this like three, four times a week, like that's a salary, it's a career. I was like, huh. And then comedy Akeem was born, and then I've been doing it ever no since. Oh shit. So eventually, okay. XOP that's just a weird like, like fall into yeah. because like you are one of the dudes. Like you, there was a few of you guys that kind of came from Montreal. Like obviously not together, but at the same time. Yeah, around yeah, roughly. Yeah, but um, you have that uh, that vibe of like I'm gonna hang out. I'm gonna know everybody's name. Of I'm, like, mm-hmm. and you like working hard. At, like you would think that you, you know, have been into this since you were a kid, and it was something that you always wanted to do. Right? I, but, like, I, that's my biggest have, like, regret. Right, yeah. My biggest regret is not getting into it earlier. Mine too. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I, I kind of like in the four years, and I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Guys. You guys work hard too. Thanks, man. Like you Thanks, guys work man. hard. I know, like, because you guys actually have adult jobs mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like you guys would want to get out more, but I oh mean, yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, this summer, this summer you're gonna see mm-hmm. a lot of us, man. Just, well, yeah, I mean, exactly. I hope so. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I hope so. But it's like, but for me, it's like I just like it's one of those things where it's like uh, four years, the the strides that I've taken in the last four years. And it's like, I can only imagine where I would be if I remember, decided to do this at 13 yeah. or 16 yeah. or like 18. Mm-hmm. Or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So where would I be now? You know? Well, it's like for me, because I knew that I wanted to do stand up since I was like a kid. I did like public speaking in elementary school. Right. And I knew like at that point, I probably wasn't fully aware. Like I knew what stand up was and shit because my parents are into comedy. But like uh, I, I knew, I knew that it was what I wanted to do. Right. But I waited until I think I was like twenty five when I did my. Why? Set. Well, we needed each other on it for whatever I reason. We just pushed yeah. each other to get on stage yeah. and to do yeah, it. Like we yeah. met, um, like writing scripts in film school. You told me that. When yeah. We first yeah. So like that was yeah. kind of the idea. But then at the end of the day, like we just write jokes like all the time anyway. And obviously, stand up was something in the back of my mind. And it came to the point where going to like amateur nights and. Um, it was like I, I spoke about it just for so many years with my friends to be like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this year. Uh, right. I'm gonna do it this year, and I just fucking didn't. And then finally, you go to like 
one of those shows and i mean not to disparage anybody that's like because those are the people that are you like see now yourself in our up class there. i'm like fuck yeah. not only do i see myself up there like i can like there's can there's a little better, bit of competitive yeah. edge to me too and there's a little bit of like i want to like I want to prove everybody else wrong, yeah. but now yeah. that I've already done that, now I just got to prove myself like right yeah. in, a, in a weird sense. Yeah, yeah, which right. is the best way to go. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll tell you guys but it, it oh. took us to like uh, hold each other accountable. I don't. I still don't think that I would. If we hadn't have met, I don't think that I would have. Yeah. At so all. when you're out there like myself. grinding yeah. hard, uh, well, and I, I, not as much because like now we have to hold these. Mm-hmm. We put it on each other, right? There's so mm-hmm. many fucking days where we don't want to go out and do it. But hey, like, and to the point now where people like really? us now get we're getting booked, and yeah, it's just kind of weird. But it's it's a manic depressive kind of like. Yeah. Like we, we got we got some we got some head problems that's why we get along like same yeah there's yeah. a lot <laughs> we got a lot in common yeah. there right yeah. but it's it's better to push so when we see guys like you they're going out there working hard and out there solo i'm like fuck man like you i have the respect for you guys because yeah. i at least Appreciate have jacket that i can i can bounce just about everything unless it's undeniably funny to me like if mm-hmm. there's something that i'm not worried about like i can workshop everything on jackie before yeah. i get it on the stage yeah. Yeah. which is good though oh i yeah. trust her i don't have more that than I, do. I, have yeah. to, I gotta go fucking live or die on the stage yeah. to see if mm-hmm. a joke's good pitch you, someone yeah, who can pitch your shit to us we'll have a group chat yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. it's awesome Ooh. like and that and also just like never having to like go to a show alone mm-hmm. being like well at least like i like well i'll have like johnny there or whatever and we'll really oh uh, yeah live, i like yeah. show alone with a group people I'll go all day. Oh, for me, I'm, yeah, no, it's not. It's not that bad for me. It's just when we started, like, there's a, mm-hmm. you know, the people that 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 are cool, and then I get up from the table and then leave, and then Jackie's not like a comic anymore at that point. It's just like mm-hmm. sharks in the water and no, stuff like that. Oh, you're a comic always. No, 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 no. But like, it wasn't treated as such, like, in the kind of a thing. Now it's undeniable. Like, she's just yeah, better than half the people in the fucking like, room. Dude, shooting a shot. There. Oh hell yeah, bro! Yeah. Really? Oh, Dude. Yeah. There is. There's one. I I won't say who. I'll tell you after who yeah. it was. Yeah. But there's Do one I know? comic. Oh yeah. Probably he's <laughs> so he's excited. he's he's a, like a big comic. Like he's oh, like here? an LA guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Living here. But he's originally from Vancouver. But he's in LA. But During he's COVID, in LA. he kind of popped in, and, but and anyways, was, was so I know who he is though. He was. I uh, assume so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd recognize but him. He was here I'm so COVID excited. And there was one time we were talking backstage, the three of us, like having a nice time, just like yeah, shooting. cool dude. He, he was going up that night, and so he was waiting for a set. It was in uh, the the basement in uh, Keto. Got you. And Johnny went to the bathroom, or he went like you talk. yeah, or he went like it's out like for a for it's a, like a smoke who? or something. And so then it was just me and this other guy alone, and within. 10 seconds he was like hey like i got this like i i got something today and i was like oh what'd you get and he pulls out a knife out of his pocket and like this flips it open this swiss and army knife mm-hmm. you got swiss army like knife a, or whatever yeah yeah Just like, like i mean a little little pocket knife flipper you know like a flips out a fucking knife and i was like oh what is he trying to I don't know. Bro, he's like, the, yeah, well, by it's the like time I come knife back, the, the knife's yeah. been put away, and I'm like, oh, hey guys, just like I pick up the conversation where it ended. I have no fucking idea. That <laughs> no that context. Happened. Yeah, and then <laughs> when we <laughs> leave, Jackie's like, took out a knife. That guy's fucking got a blade in his pocket. <laughs> what? <But> why? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, oh, cool. He's like, yeah, it's like this new. He's like, you think like he's it's pretty cool, right? It's like a new thing that I got, and I was like. Why the fuck do you have a knife on you? We're in Canada, dude. Like, what are you stressed <laughs> about? Yeah, yeah. And first of all, why the fuck are you pulling <laughs> yeah. that out? Like in that situation, yeah. like, like I'm, I like maybe the dude. You're so keto. Like, one, like, like why do you have this on you now? Two, why did you wait until Johnny left, left to show to you? Pull out this fucking You'd knife? probably more interested yeah. in it than I'd her. be like, fuck yeah, man, that thing pops off, looks so cool and shit. Like, I try to explain that to my mom. I'm I like, like pocket knife. I'll go. I'll be like, I'll be like home like at midnight. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go for a walk. And mom, I'm like, what are you doing walking at midnight? I was like, mom, this is Vancouver. The scariest thing on these streets at midnight is probably me so no doubt. Yeah. i don't, I don't <laughs> worry yeah. about nothing but he was hitting on you with the knife yeah it was weird it was Did a it weird vibe you? no should have played some veto but the yeah. thing is that like if he had if, if he hadn't have taken the knife out i would have been super down really so, like yeah but then it just got weird and now like he's the guy that pulled the knife on me yeah so, so he lost all his chances yeah, I mean, like, unless he's gonna Bullshit, like give me a spot, he could, he could, he could unless he can like get me up uh, in LA or something. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all it takes, he may or may not. <laughs> all it takes, hey, listen, some women, some women want Birkin bags, some women want gifts, <laughs> trips to Dubai. Jack just wants stage time. That's <laughs> it. She will sleep with you for stage time. Okay, <laughs> for stage time. Not that's you it. specifically. Not you, but like, like you. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to have a look at the. the that's full hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, that is hilarious. It's but ima- the look and the, like the quality of the stage. If you can yeah, get her at the yeah. store, oh, she will fuck you. Oh yeah, dude. I she will, will fuck bear you to get on the table. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she <laughs> will bear your children. Know, that's yeah. crazy. So like, guys yeah. were like really. So you like you would leave, right? Oh. 
it's this always is when I go. Because you're like a deterrent. Yeah, you're like, exactly. Dude, you around 100%. Yeah, like, I'm fucking, oh, man, I'm like yeah. six feet and loud guy. and shit like that. Yeah. All these like kind of, you know, nerdy comics. Are like, oh. So, but it doesn't. Dude, as soon as I'm out the door. There is another, another guy who you definitely know. From uh, Vancouver. From yeah, Vancouver. Yeah. I'm so excited. I love we Gossip. We'll tell you all these stories. <laughs> <laughs> we, were in, uh, we were in a, a, a restaurant doing a set, and Johnny went Which out. Which restaurant? Uh, it, Neptune. So it was a. Uh, it was no, I have an idea what it is. <laughs> so, uh, it's Johnny, so many times I forget Johnny, this one. I was Johnny <laughs> goes out for a smoke, and this guy's like, and this was during COVID. And he's like okay. talking about COVID and stuff. And then all of a sudden he's like, so like, are you fucking right now? Oh. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> like, bro. No. Yeah. He's like, excuse me? And yeah. he was like, are you like fucking people? As casual right as now? pass the sugar. Please. Just like, swear to God. Yo, what the fuck? I was like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm working a lot right now. And like, <laughs> so he, is that a no? Is that yeah. what he has? Like, so like, it's a no. I might be fucking, but not you, not to anybody that comes on like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, to you, <laughs> Jesus no. Christ. And then, but like a, like a couple months before, or a few months before, he had met one of my best friends from the island was here visiting, and he had met her at the time. So after he asked me that, I'm like, no, no. I'm not for you asking me this. No, I'm not fucking right now. And then he goes, <laughs> "What about your friend?" <laughs> a friend that she brought to a show at Hood like six months prior. Yeah, that lives on the island. That lives on the island. Yeah, yeah so he's, he's just commute. like, yeah. At that point, he's shooting any shot that he can get. Oh, like, he what didn't about that care. Girl that you brought yeah. one time six months. That ago? will yeah. still take a fucking three hours to get here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be asleep by the time. Unreal. Yeah. That's fucking Un- crazy, yeah, dude. Yeah. So that happens frequently. Oh, totally. Quite a now, bit. question. Yeah. A lot of no game mm-hmm. happening, motherfuckers. Question. Right? As him as a best friend, mm-hmm. deterrent, right? How off, how is it, does it happen where you're more frustrated at the fact that he's a deterrent or happy that he's a deterrent? Oh, I'm never frustrated. Not frustrated yeah. to the yeah, point yeah. where it's like some guy approaches you and it's like he doesn't whip out his Swiss Army knife. He's like, so like, what, like <laughs> so, so like, are you like, trying to add to your body count like tonight? Like, no, like, I, like, yeah. I, I know. I never feel that. Good. Never feel that way. Good. So you yeah. appreciate it. I yeah, honestly yeah. having a friend like that just to make sure because no, comics are creepy. A, well, Bro, because like, one, I think slime that's yeah, man, but, fucking slime balls too. Like at yeah. the end of the like after afterwards, like um, it's the DMs. It's it's all yeah, the other exactly. shit. Really? And it I happens think, there too. Yeah. Well, Fuck and I me. think that's why because for the most part, my experience has been like really good. I haven't like I have moments when he's not around where I get things like that, but they're fleeting. Fucking knife. And, yeah, that Bro, was, like, yeah. That was but uh, but I'm like grateful that because like I'm always with Johnny, like people kind of leave me alone. Yeah. And then I see these moments for like the f- two minutes when he's not. You need around, to talk about I'm, this like, stuff on stage. Yeah. This yeah, shit's fucking good. hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, like this. Dating and dating in Vancouver. Yeah. So you fucking check box yes or no? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's what like, it is, man. Nobody's whining and dying it anymore. You know no, what I mean? No, like, that's it. Yeah. No, it's sweet nothings in your ear at all. Asking straight up, like. Are you fucking? Yo, I took I took a girl out on a date and she was flabbergasted. Hell, yeah. she's like, so like uh, the bill comes, I'm like one bill, yeah. And she's like, really? I was like, are we not on a date? Like I don't understand yeah. the question. Mm-hmm. I like, she's that. like, but like it doesn't matter. Like, but like we drank a lot, and I was like, that's what I, it is. I, I don't mm-hmm. understand. Your, I don't understand your point. What, yeah. what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gonna pay it. It's like, totally. how much is the bill? Like, why do you need to know? You're not paying for it. So, exactly. it's like, so well, let me give you. It, I I got it. It's a date. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you you're not from here. I went. I was at. I was Doesn't at. Break your heart a little bit. Like I like Not that really. part about it, right? Like mm-hmm. that's still the fun. Like the. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's, it's recording. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. You meet on the train, and maybe you get a number, and blah blah blah. It's like it's it's all that. Funny that you say that. that that's the shit. Right? When was the last time, both of you? Well, opposite yeah. Yeah. actions, but same question. When was the last time a guy wrote his number down on a piece of paper? And when was the last time you wrote your number down on a piece of paper to give somebody? Instead of just whipping out your phone, yeah. like a napkin, whatever, or like on the hand. And like, I remember like when I was like in high school or college, yeah. mm-hmm. like, oh, like yeah. fresh, like newly 18, 19 going out. I remember like getting a number in my hand at the beginning of the night and like n- going to the bathroom, not washing my hands. Like, my hand, the cesspool of diseases. Yeah. Yeah. That was on my fucking hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just because I didn't want to wash it because I wanted yeah. to remember. Oh, that. Yeah, I'm dude. just like, yeah. is that a seven? <laughs> <laughs> or like a, is that an eight? Dude, you gotta you know? get it on the top side, man. It's That's true. Right yeah, That's man. true. But yeah, yeah when was the last time? Um, a couple years ago, uh, a server at a restaurant wrote his wrote Genius. his number down. Yeah, Genius. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. sleep with him? No. 
That's God, shameful. <laughs> my, like, well, one of, like, my moves is, like, what I like to, I like to sit kind of, like, um, like, belly up to a bar and, like, have my notebook out or whatever and just be kind of, you know, writing or whatever. So I usually have, like, a, like a joke Jeez. book and a pen. Seeing that you're me. an artist. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so that kind of, that works, too. But I'm also, like, I have, like, one headphone in. I'm just kind of, like, lost in my own head or whatever, right? And then by the end of the evening... Um, yeah, like a waitress, like for whatever reason, I'm just like around them or drawn to them, and that's just like what it is, kind of yeah. thing. If a waitress smokes the same cigarettes, it's in a Menzinger song, and it's just like a lyric that, that I is like, a fucking yeah. way to get in. It's it's weird, mm-hmm. right? But uh, so like I will cigarettes. So might have been like might have been maybe six or eight months ago that I okay, that, so it's recent. So I'll write it. Yeah, I'll write it on my own. But like I'll pay the bill and thank you very much, and like so then I'll just write my number on it and just say, hey, like that was great. Evening or whatever, this is my number, no pressure, blah, blah, blah. So it was recent? Yeah. So okay, that's what's up. I'm just at the Brown Social House over here, actually. <laughs> the you? girl didn't call me back. <laughs> that's life. That's life. That's but, it's, but it's all good, right? You cigarettes is a great way to like, oh, yeah. do you have a smoke? And you sit there, you smoke, you have a conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for what it, there's something social about it. There's something that's like, uh, um, I don't want to say like in, in high school, there was always the thing, if she smokes, she pokes. Blah, or whatever. What does that it's mean? It means that like, I don't know, slutty girls smoke cigarettes or something like that. And no, terrible, slutty girls have the tongue rings. Ex- well, like that too, I mean, yeah. right? But if the, if you if you catch, if you catch one that does ring. both. Well, I don't it's know. It's a, dick. Exactly, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's just a bullshit yeah. thing or whatever. Is that, that a thing? I think so. What a, why, why else would you get a tongue ring? I just, I don't so Chris feel Rock, it. No sex, there's no sex in the champagne room. If a girl has a tongue ring, she'll probably suck your dick. 100%. If a guy has a tongue ring, he will probably suck, suck your dick. dick. No, yeah. he will suck your dick. Of course. Yeah. Right? But it's what I'm saying, but it's like, I don't, I don't feel that. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I have a sure, check this out. Mm-hmm. I've, I've came up with a surefire way mm-hmm. to get a number. This is 100% test. So show me yours exclusive. You heard yeah. it here first, 100%. people. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, break it down. This is 100% foolproof mm-hmm. way. She has to be with the dog. It doesn't have to be her dog, but she has to be with the dog. Okay. okay. What you do is, what you do In is Vancouver, this. that's not hard to find. Yeah. 100%. So you go, right? You go. Go up to her and say, hey, this is going to be a weird question, but uh, can I take a picture with your dog? Per- ears perk up. Why do you want to take a picture with my dog? I said, well, I just got into town. I tried this. It's foolproof. Okay. Mm-hmm. Four for four. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Four for four. Four for four. So you go. I just you know, I just moved here. I'm on the apps, everything like that. Yeah. Tinder yeah. and yeah. all that stuff. And uh, they say that if with a picture with a dog Bro. shows like shows that you like, like you get better receptivity yeah, of a do. dog yeah. in the picture. Yeah, you do. So I say, can I take? And she gets all excited. Oh yeah, that's so true. And then she, all of a sudden she wants to help. Yeah. So she's like, oh here, I'll take the picture of you. Take the picture with the dog. Compose. Okay, which picture? Which yeah. picture is the best? And she's like, that one. I mean, really, this one? Show mm-hmm. her friends. So you yeah. would swipe on this if you saw it, and she'd be like, yeah, hundred percent. Great. So why don't we just save time and just put your number in right there? Yeah. <laughs> Every time, dude. It works. Oh Every God. time. That adds a very good friend of mine uh, that's been in a happy relationship for a long time. Shout out to Dawn Kennedy. I love that girl. Shout she's out to yeah. So well, I'm, I'm talking about. The plight that I'm going through, this is a hard, um, sometimes like you have, you have some good months and you have some bad months, especially if you're on the apps, right? right. So I'm in a mm-hmm. fucking huge slump right now, just a dry spell. Like you just need one fucking. Just one. Yeah, right? You just, just need one. one to break the slump. And uh, she's like, well, then what the fuck is the problem? So she, have you ever had a, a friend of yours as a girl that looks at your um, dating apps and is just like, oh, this app is, go- yep. or sorry, this profile is garbage, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> so yep. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, so I have for. to readjust it. So she's got her dog and she's like, dude, I'm going to take you to the beach tomorrow. I'm going to put you in front of a fucking camera with my dog. Like, we're going to, we're going to figure this out. Genius. Yeah. yeah and she was That's great. a good friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking fantastic. I love that. But, um. The I what you did there was take it to the next level and yeah. like apply like that that's tactics right. Go, that's some Navy yeah. Seal getting it's, nasty. It's because shit, you right? gotta look like so you would swipe on this like, yeah. So at that point, if you would swipe right on me and we would you would be interested in me aesthetically, oh, mm-hmm. why just give me your number now? Yeah. What are you wasting time? Four for four. Feel free to use it. I four mean, I don't know if it work well with you. <laughs> would you? Would you? Would that work on you? That's smooth. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. probably. Jake, have you ever yeah. had to like run game to, to get a That's number? That's a good like, fucking that? question. No. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> never? it comes a little bit easier. You never had to, you know, she you never, woman, had to no, never dude. I've had yeah. to like up, like you apply pressure, you know, you back off, you're, no. you know, you, come, you make she's a woman like, in the bar around to... a little bit, like. No, I'm never like. Because dick out just comes guys. at you. You turn down <laughs> dick does. all the time. Oh, sure. Like, All the time must be nice, you know, right? right? Like, well, right. I don't fuck dick, but I mean. hey, man. But either way, right? Just to just to have the option, the option yeah. Right? Like it's crazy. Go to the fucking like safe <laughs> safe way and just like no, I'm not fucking. Bro, no, she was at a superstore oh the other God. day and yeah, like fucking so fuck, either kidnapping yeah, her dick down. I don't know what this. No, what no, happened? So the other day at superstore, I was sitting in my car in the parking lot, right? 
And this guy drives by, and as he drives by, I see him staring at me, and I'm like, oh, this looks like a creepy motherfucker. Right. Whatever. I'm in my car. He's driving by. Then I see him stop and reverse, and he reverses into the spot next to me. And like, my window, windows were open. It was a fucking hot day. Right. And I was on my phone, and then I just hear, hey. And I look, and I was like, oh, hey. And he was like, oh, you're beautiful. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and he was like, what's what's your name? And I was like, what's my name? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, it's it's Jackie. It's Should've like, lied. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Should have lied. But I was like, Megan. I was, but I was flustered. I was not like prepared for this. I was gotcha. had just yeah, like. Yeah, we're running drills now, and next time this happens, you're going to be prepared. Lie, yeah. lie, I just, like, went to fucking lie, 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 whatever. But then uh, he uh, was like, "Oh well, like I, you know, I, I, I parked here just to talk to you." How old is this guy? How did he look? He was probably like in his thirties. Like mid. Yeah, gotcha. something like that, mid. and. Um, uh, yeah, he was like, I parked here just to talk to you. And I was like, oh, well, I'm like on my way out. Uh, and he was like, oh, are you going home? And I was like. Lie. Yeah, well, I said, no, I'm going to my boyfriend's. Good and then, stuff. yeah, and then immediately he like sort of backed off. He's like, oh, oh, but you're so cute. And I was like, okay, cool. Thanks, man. And then immediately like put it in drive and like. Come on, he away. said, oh, but he's like, that's a shame you have a boyfriend because yeah. you're so cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he's like, yeah. it's the last shot. That's like, the reason you why the buzzer you have a boyfriend. Right? Fucking the time's going down. You're just going to like try yeah. to throw up a buzzer beater before what you put it in. This, this and get was the like earlier this week. That's wild. This, yeah. <laughs> okay, but on the flip side of that coin. You're walking around a dog, right? Mm-hmm. Handsome black. Akeem comes up to you going, hey, girl, I'm, I just moved to town here. My Tinder's uh-huh. all fucked up. I'm trying can to I borrow your... Like, can I borrow it? What you've described here is like the people different. that have approached you have just like done it in the most wild, batshit ways, well, right? Yeah, if like that, like, I mean, there's there's something charming about no, that. No, that's you know different. What I mean, that's right? not creepy. Yeah. Like the... But the shit that the... Yeah, the shit that I get is creepy. But it's like... Because like, people, because like, yeah. guys see me and they're like, oh, I can like... They they think that they can like act however they want around me. I think type that's thing, just guys in general. Yeah, yeah, and it's just. It's I don't think it's a you thing. I don't yeah. think it's a it's a problem that Jackie I has. I think it's totally. It's just yeah. guys like there's a sense of entitlement, and yeah. women have it too. But like I mean, sure. it's like we're all, we all ain't shit. I tell people that all the time. Yeah. But it's like the fact that he sat there and was like, I stopped here to like. I parked here so I could talk to you. He drove like, by and then reversed back yeah, exactly, into right? the spot. Yeah, nobody, so I'm and supposed to... And acts like she my, owes him something. And too. I was yeah. sitting yeah. in no, my fucking no. car. Yeah. yeah. And especially if you're not... If it's reciprocal, then you stand there and talk. But it's like, no, I don't... Like, good for you. Yeah. You yeah. committed traffic infringements just to talk to me? Well, great. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Glad we had this talk. I'm yeah. not going to talk to you anymore. I don't owe you shit. Yeah. Totally exactly. but, but it's also just, like, unsettling when it when that happens. Because it's, like, for that... Like, that... um. To, to feel like you can do that, I'm like, well, what else does he think he can do? Well, I drive right, away, I'm totally. like checking in my mirrors to make sure he's not That's following crazy. me. That's so then it just up. like it just makes me uncomfortable for the rest of the day. Right. I'm like not like don't feel entirely safe. So let's it. flip it now because mm-hmm. like this is depressing. Um, when was the last <laughs> good encounter <laughs> that you got hit on? <laughs> that's a good fucking question. No, know. not to not to like discredit because yeah, that's the yeah. awareness. Dude, stop being fucking dickheads. Exactly. I but will fucking saying, like, find you. No, but I, like, I hate focusing on neg- t- negative yes, to yes, drive. Yes, so yes, when was yes. the last time a guy hit on you and like it was like, I'm putting on veto? I don't know. That long? Yeah. Like. I mean, like COVID times. It's been a while since I've even like been out, out and about. You, 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 you've met people. Well, yeah, but I don't know. Like most of. The, Truly, most of the time that guys hit on me, it's it's uncomfortable and really? creepy. Yeah, just guys are just they suck. No game. Yeah. It's weird yeah. because like yeah. the, they the, to approach you with so much confidence and then to like just assume. Like w- without putting any good foot forward, without yeah. like, hey, let's go, let's go to dinner, let's mm-hmm. you know, let's go on a date or anything like that, right? Like that's kind of the like the neighborhood that that I'm from. It's what you're supposed to do, right? right? And there's something fun about it, right? right. There's something cool about. Um, is there going to be some chemistry it's here? The mm-hmm. exactly, it's the banter. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. It's the um, banter. Mm-hmm. It's to give you a reason to come back or a reason to, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. to, to hang out for, right? Even if you make all your intentions clear and, hey, this might just be a weekend thing or might go on something for whatever, right? But, like, getting all that shit out of the way is, like, important. But some people have this fucking, like, attitude in their head. Like, they're such hot shit. Right. You know, that they're just going to holler at you and, like, then that's it. You know, let's get the fuck out of here and go home, that's, right? Which yeah. is Which is fucking wild to have that kind of... Like sense of entitlement when you didn't put any fuck away at all. My friends know? get my friends back home used to roast me because I never used to, I never leave leave the house with a condom ever. 
mm-hmm. like whatever event I go to, mm-hmm. if I'm going out mm-hmm. to a club, going to a show, I don't leave. I don't typically leave my house with condoms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And they're like, why don't you do that? I'm like, because I don't. I'm not arrogant enough to to think that when I leave the house, I'm guaranteed pussy. Well, yeah. it's like having a gun on you, right? Like yeah. you know, when people like get like um. You know, you hear all these stories like, oh, a gun went off. That's because, like, you had it on you. Yeah. And, like, it, it fucked with your head enough that, like, at yeah. some point, this is going to come out and use it, right? So if you leave with, like, that thing, it's like having, like, so, yeah. so all, every interaction that you have that evening is just towards getting this mess, is, And that's right? what exactly what I explained to people. I was like, I'm yeah. not, like, yeah, but it's like, it's like having insurance, like, just in case. I'm like, no. Like, you get, first of all, you get car insurance because you, it's, a, it's a law. Yeah. Second yeah. of all, if you're operating a motor vehicle, you're likely to, like, the likelihood of you getting an accident is possible. I'm not saying you're going to, sure, but it's up mm-hmm. there. But it's very, uh, it's very possible to you for you to go an entire month, you interact with a bunch of different people and not fuck. That would suck if it happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. But I'm just saying, like, yep. it's 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 more like like it's not an out of the box way to think that you're to yeah. go outside just to have a good time and enjoy people. So it's like, yeah, well, mm-hmm. you're gonna have more like honest interactions with people, right? Real if interact. Back, with, if, if the yeah. back of your head is it like, okay, what can I? What's the right thing to say so that we it's can get to bonus. my bedroom at some point? It's a time. bonus. Mm-hmm. It's totally. a bonus if you. Hell yeah, it is. Of course. Like you mm-hmm. meet someone. Like, I meet Jackie. Jackie, how's it going? Everything mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. I'll get this talk. And she, the vibe was just good. Next thing I know, my penis, her mouth. Fantastic, right? <laughs> it's a fucking bonus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a yeah, bonus. Yeah. It's like this is like well, it's like we. Like, I wouldn't say the sex was great. I'd be like, yo, we had great conversation. Absolutely, it was a dope time. We were vibing. We were drinking. Totally. everything was yeah. great at the podcast. And that then the night was great. And then it's like, yeah. oh, but you guys fuck. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, well, why did you talk about that? I'm like, well, I was just the bonus. I'm talking about what. Yeah, you know what exactly. Right. No, the other side, and another thing too is like that's not your fucking business, right? Like I'll tell yeah. you about the entire night and shit like that. And like if that comes up, yeah, the sex was good. Yeah, you know, fantastic, right? But like, you know, if I'm telling a fucking story. You know, like I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not in high sex. school anymore, and I don't yeah. want to fucking hear about like your strokes or like how, you know. I mean, and like and then, who and cares then we went about then, like other people's sex? Like I don't grown. like like I really don't give. I want to hear funny stories about it. If there's like, yeah, yeah, some funny, if happens, it's a funny yeah. story. Yeah. I pull a cramp Absolutely, over, oh, dude. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. oh man, I cramp bad, dude. Do you? Yeah, dude, I cramp bad, man. Do you? Water. Does he? Yeah, no. She knows. Does he? Can you confirm or deny this, dude? It's been COVID, man. We know. You too. I will say we've been hunkered down. No, I will say this. I will say this. When I first when I first met you guys, yep. I thought you guys' relationship was the most bizarre thing in the fucking world. <laughs> I, so yeah. I, I, I You're not I, the only one. I right? could not I bro, I would go home and I'd be like, what the f- <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. But then after getting to know you guys and seeing you guys out interact all the time, yep. and then even seeing you isolated, it's like, yo, this is a fucking the best thing in the fucking world. It's, yeah, that's, yeah. It's, it's it's real shit. It is. Have you guys talked about this on the podcast before? Um, uh, we've, no, we've never know. been put we've up never, to it. Like, I think yeah. a lot of people see like the chemistry and this and that, but like the and the I don't know if it's like a Meg White, Jack White, you know, like the white stripes right. or whatever. Like, yeah. those, are they are there? Like, um, like Fred Armisen and mm-hmm. like the Portlandia thing. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, it's like, um, we have the exact same kind of taste in um, like especially with comedy, but like a t- such a different kind of um approach to how right. we get there. So like yeah. it makes like the our text chain is the funnest fucking thing that I have. You know what I mean? There's there's so much like, there's, 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 yeah, there's so much there, right? As far as like, um, our relationship, we do get like a lot of like questions and shit. My mother watches the show and goes like, you guys are having babies tomorrow, right? And you're just, I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought the exact same thing. And like, I, and I get why people wonder that. And, but like that part of our like relationship is like this, this much. Versus versus what's, yeah, the grand scheme. And that's what I, and that's when. Like we own a business together. We write together. We do like creative shit. We have the show together. Like there's so much like else that like goes into it. That's just like a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we are like, we're both like depressed, lonely people too. So like if we do have sex every once in a while, why the fuck are you guys depressed and lonely because like it's just like <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a mental it's a yeah, yeah it's yeah, just like yeah. a thing because we have each other to pull yeah. ourselves up out of that thing but it's just a yeah. constant it's depressed, a cycle man what do you got it's like i understand like depressed like why just trauma and bullshit or whatever yeah, right yeah, like at the end of the day like oh, it, just, it, it just creeps in and comes back right oh, so like Lord. and uh yeah so at the end of the day <laughs> like it's seven. it's the best thing that we have each other for it right because you get to laugh at it rather than fucking boohoo and 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 go into thing because i handle it much better now than i did as a kid gotcha you know so question just to talk about it a little bit or just to, to be conscious of it makes it a lot easier to turn it around into a joke rather than to kind of go down a rabbit hole and then you start to go like why is anybody phoning me and shit right. whatever mm-hmm. you know and you realize oh shit like I'm down I gotta pick myself back I up I have yeah. when you guys fuck what's who picks the music <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who picks the music? 
Are we going to Anderson too, Pack? At, at your yeah. house, it's here. Dude, I, yeah, it, depends, it depends who's should hosting. We, should we tell him uh, the Missy story? Hell yeah, oh, yeah you should yeah, tell yeah. me the Missy okay. story. Oh, okay. Yeah, so All right. The very, the very <laughs> wait, wait. Let me get some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. drinking is so much fun. It's Sunday. Fuck it. We need some more rum. Yeah. You have the white cl- Yo, she's going in. I'm she has the white cloths. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's the coke at? You press the coke. I need. Like, Missy Elliott? Yeah. I'm so excited. This is the very first time that we ever, like, hooked up at all. So we had Ever. Yeah, so we we had known each other probably like six months or something like okay. that, and um, yeah, this night uh, we were we were hanging out at a at a bar or whatever. There was other shit going on, but it it, it happened. Cheers, this guys. Night. Cheers. Yeah, thank cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, thank you for this coming. This is great. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. We yeah. just, let me just say, I had no intention of finishing this bottle today. <laughs> I had zero, but here we are. That's the vibe, man. Yeah. We love you. Thanks for coming out, mm. man. This is awesome. But yeah, we'll, we'll uh, end yeah. the plane with this one. But this is a- so, uh, yeah, so this is the first time we ever hooked up. And like we <laughs> we had known each other for about six months. And we were, we were pretty good friends at this point. And, uh, you know, then it was... It was it was gonna happen, uh, and so it's we just went like a matter back of time to place. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and gotcha. then uh, so then we uh, went back to my place, and like it was it was happening, but I think we were both like very in our own heads because okay. we, had, we, were, we were we were really. I, good I had a relationship that was also like blowing up and and, and ending yeah. at, the, at the exact same okay. time, right? So like um like mentally, um I'm a little bit all over the place, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you want to be somewhere, but it's not happening. For yeah. me, you right. know what I'm saying, right? Like in that, that relationship or here? I'm um, just in the bed that evening, right? So oh, like I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, no. But bro. and so and we were, like and I was very nervous as well, and because like I had other shit going on, and anyways, and so then we we were we were. It's the most we, bummer, we, awkward we were, kind of like we're like we're into it and like, but we it's like, but really it's not wanted, happening. We really wanted to do this, but it just wasn't uh, happening. Okay. And so then and so John, he's like, uh, I like I'm 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 sorry or whatever. No, the quote whatever, is like, like I'm really nervous right now, and Jackie goes, No, I'm nervous too, but it just doesn't physically manifest itself that's, so <laughs> that's the quote that she said bro and it like fucking stung me like to the core she's like it's okay so true. <laughs> that is so true you could get away with it but you're a real one she's yeah you're a real one totally you could have made it seem like he was the entire problem absolutely no, no, oh no, you're, no, a no, oh, Jack, so the, you're a real one oh jackie you're a real one and so then anyways we after a, a bit we were just like laying there and johnny was like do you think like bars are open right now? I was like, I fucking hope so. Let's what time was it? I said, yeah. do you think, like, I didn't even say, should we go get a drink before she was like, yes. yes. Let's get yeah. What time was it? <laughs> Maybe uh, like 11.45 like 11 or something like that. Before yeah, before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was like, we had like an hour yeah. and a half or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 this was like, yeah, this was like almost three years ago now. Yeah. And so we went to the bar uh, but by where I live, where I lived at the time, and uh, they were sitting there waiting for our food, and Missy Elliott starts playing. Is it worth it? it? Let me <laughs> work it. I put my thing. Yeah, I'm flipping and reverse it. And Johnny's just sitting there. Like, Must be nice. Yeah, no shit. I'm trying, Missy. I'm trying. Must be nice. I wish it was oh, one fuck. minute, man, because I couldn't even get a minute oh, in. Oh, that's like, fucking fuck. hell. That would have been fucking funny. Yeah, bro. Oh, that would have been fucking funny. I'm like s- Missy Elliott talking about working it. We're sitting there. I'm we're like, we tried. Both Missy. Yeah, we oh, tried. We really hilarious. did. We're and then the it. bill comes, and Johnny tries to pay, and he has no money. <laughs> Bro, insult to injury, Bro, dude. Like it wasn't going your day. Kick me when I'm fucking down. Your dick man. wasn't working. The fucking card Bank. wasn't working. It was so nothing ba- was erect that yeah, day. Yeah, right. So like, I would people ask like, that's that's why we're best friends. Like, 100%. That's some friendship 100%. level 100%. shit right there. No, but for real though, kudos to this girl because I'm telling you right now, that would have been the first and last time an attempt for a lot of people. Seriously, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. You are a different personality, totally. <laughs> Both of you. Yeah. Well, it's, it yeah. speaks to like the like the chemistry there, or whatever. Like when we graduated um, uh, film school, there was all these uh, like a, like bullshit awards that they kind of give out just for right. fun, so everybody yeah, gets like, everybody yeah, goes yeah, home. It's a fun thing, right? And Jackie's got a very distinct laugh. And then like later on in the award thing or whatever, they'd said like, well, the reason that you know that you hear that laugh so much or whatever is like you know like, we're tight like that, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. At the end of the day, the the same shit makes us laugh, mm-hmm. and like. And that's even me not being able to perform. Like, that falls in that's that category crazy. for sure. It's but again, like, yeah. guys, this is stuff you guys need to be talking about. Like, yeah. I don't like to be that guy who comes and tells you, like, what you need to be, what your material should nobody be. Gives yeah. fucking, fucking, nobody gives us any fucking, nobody gives us that. Like, we love hilarious. that. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, that's yeah. We could do like a, funny. If, if, yeah. There, like, if we could only, if we go to Montreal and there's only five minutes that for us to split, that's we'll get up fucking, together. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. That is hilarious story to go. 
would be so like, listen, we knew six months in this was gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Get to the place, shit's not working. That's already one problem. And then just God has a sense of humor, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, you know God has a sense of humor because fucking you just everything just reminded you of your lackluster performance <laughs> bro, or lack thereof. Man, when I walked home, there was just one cloud raining on me. Oh my too. god! I like, the was... fucking the next day we had class and it was oh like. <laughs> It was like a class writing for video games okay. and he played us this fucking scene from a video game where it is the most awkward sex. It's like it? this this weird I forget what fucking game it was. Remember. It was no, like no, I, can't um, remember the name. I, I don't remember okay. the name, but it was like an awkward the last of us or sex mm. game. Se- it was an awkward sex scene in a video game and like who we snitched? were watching it. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, who <laughs> snitched? <laughs> who snitched? <laughs> 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 we were like in the class and it was like dark and it was like oh we always sit in the same place too. Jackie sitting directly behind. Behind me and I can right behind. (laughs) And I was like, oh my god, this is so awkward. And then like one of our friends like just says out loud, like, oh, this is like the most awkward sex scene I've ever watched. And then we said that, and then Johnny like slowly looked back (laughs) at me. Because we've we seen more awkward. We had, That's fucking was, and hours. Going into that class, I was so nervous because why? Like, because we were friends, and then that yeah, happened. Yeah, like is, is that okay. going to be like, weird the day weird, after? Now. The, the, the connection weird. wasn't yeah. official at that point. Exactly, so yeah. Yeah. That, like yeah, that yeah. day made it what it is. <laughs> Has now. this happened again since? Oh, I've knocked that out. Yeah, oh, no, I yeah, made yeah, up for yeah, it. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not but, saying you yeah. haven't. I'm just saying has like has like in the three years has like has like like is it now like if you don't get up like well like just shoulder shrug or has it ever happened again? How does it work now? I, I don't know. I mean, I think whenever that happens now, it's usually because substances are involved. So yeah. we kind of just. So you guys don't just like just because like it's like it's Sunday evening and you're bored. No. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, alcohol is involved. Maybe, I don't know. Honestly, well, no. I mean, like, we'll I, no, no. I mean, yeah, like, exactly. when, no. But I more, think uh, when more I, when, hangover mornings. I think. Yeah. Is, no. When it when it happens, there's never a time where it like doesn't work. But right. the, the times when it doesn't work, I'm saying, is there yeah, something involved? Oh, yeah. Usually. Yeah, oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's actually probably this is probably one of the most healthy relationships I've ever seen. It's like you both go out. You can go out to your bars with your boys. Mm-hmm. You go out with your homies, your girls, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like if neither of you like. Hey, Jack, you got anybody coming to the crib? It's like, nah, you? Okay, cool. And just, that's it's it. It's never worked like that, but yeah, that would be cool really if that happened. was yeah. yeah, but, <laughs> but I mean, but I'm just saying, on a, on a, on a, on a base yeah, yeah. value, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah. There, yeah, no, there's definitely, um, yeah, there's some of that. There's a little bit of crossover. And like, I mean, just with COVID too, like the fact that it's, um, you know, there's a reason that, you know, that we, don't have to like go out into the wilderness and shit. I right. have a few times, and I go, I mean I didn't catch COVID twice, but fuck, I don't know how yeah, I, I caught didn't. The shit you twice, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, this so, sucks. Um, you know, so with all of that or whatever, so it's a weird time, and I wouldn't have wanted to spend it any other way. Hundred so. percent. Yeah, it's and it's convenient. not like we're so just like scary like in that dark world. Each, like all these. It's yeah, yeah. Like exactly. I, you guys are, you guys are like, like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You guys are out here like shit business. Yeah. You said comedy, yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. Part of the show, yeah, exactly. Must be nice. It's yeah, it's good. It's hard, dude. It's why don't fun. you do a cast, man? Like you're fucking, you're like a the, you're the yeah, you're the only yeah. comedian in town without one, and you're probably the only no. guy that I would listen to. If no, you <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. It's just yeah. listen. This is a, I kudos to you guys. This is a lot of work. It is to to because listen, I people have asked me why I don't produce a show or why I don't do yeah. podcasts or stuff like that, and I was like because I have to deal with comedians. Yeah, yeah. I have to deal with comedians. It's very rare, like. You people put on shows and it's like people cancel last minute. People, fight. I've seen it as a as a comedian. Like I've yeah. seen, like, hey, Kim, can you can you do extra time? And then people go overtime, and I've gotten my time cut. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to deal with that stuff. Like, totally. mm-hmm. I just want to be a work for hire. Go up, tell my jokes, call it a day. Hell yeah. yeah, and that's it. The little responsibility I have. So to have a podcast to to get people on and to come up with different topics and stuff like you guys are doing something the very best, different Honestly, the best thing though, that is, like, is that we have each other because yeah, like yeah, we, we, can have only, each other we, we have when a guest wants to come on or when we do have something you know to come through or whatever it breaks it up but right. we have so much fucking fun doing it just with our just yeah. with our, each well, other well this yeah. is like honestly like there were, there were points in this where I for, completely forgot that there was even a camera you guys are yeah. so easy to talk to and we've yeah. like just mm-hmm. the, the conversation we have in the parking garage right by Kino yeah this is the same, same thing. thing, right? Yeah. So that's all we great. wanted to do at the end of the day is just make a show that we'd want to watch or yeah. whatever. And talking have about music and exactly. stuff. And we talked about music, but we yeah. talked about a lot of different and things. And like, well, that's, honestly, that's like since show. comedy yeah. shut down, this is like what is kept like, like, uh, like sane. Like yeah. you have to Big have time. an outlet to just like be funny and like mm-hmm. talk and just like say whatever is like on our on our mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like Judge free. Yeah. This yeah. judgment yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Just fucking literally anything goes here. If we can get into you know like a little bit. 
you know, more grounded stuff. And or if, you know, Peter's fucking podcast, we call them a fucking pedophile and a racist. He called you that? No, no we, we called, called him. Like, we just, that. we oh. just <laughs> fucked with it. I was wild, man. Uh, shit got into it. He's, but he's, at the end of the, man, well, he's he, some he different. Wants to go, you know, if he, he wants to go for it, and Jack is the best because she will yes and you till the fucking end of the thing. Yes, you know, like, dude, like, it's awesome, man. So as far as you want to go down the line, she'll fucking take you there. took him pretty fucking far, too. He gets me fucked up every single time. He has that little fucking nod. Yeah. And I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for gadgets. Oh and man, like, he I'm has a little. Oh man, I, I went there. I brought my own beer. I didn't touch any of that shit. No, oh, he every man, time he's like, what do you want to drink? Fireball. Every Hell single time. Yeah. There's the whiskey. Hell no, yeah. it went. What did we drink? I think it was the Conor McGregor whiskey. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. my yeah, god, yeah, every yeah. fucking time. Ah. And I'm and it's like it's just the whole setup and the lights are hot. And mm-hmm. I wore the same sweater both podcasts, so it looks like we just did it all in one day. But I was like, bro, I was like, yo, I'm fucking. Wasted. Hell yeah. And yeah. I'm in North Bend. I don't know where to fucking how to get home from here. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, they, yeah, you just got to take this fucking road all the way down and you'll be Oh, that's home exactly safe. what yeah, I did. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I did. Yeah. So this is going to be a, a fucking interesting evil ride to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> don't incriminate yourself. Somebody's hey, driving that evil I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just saying. Like, well, this is only coming out hey, after. Man, so worst I'm, things have happened in Evo. Oh, yeah. This right? is be episode 11 released yeah. uh, no, oh. this Monday, next Monday, whatever the date on. Do people fucking Evos? Hmm? We fucked an Evo. We fucked an Evo. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah we, we did. did. She does a bit about it. It's <laughs> Why? <awesome>. Yeah. <laughs> because, well, or is it my bit? I can't remember. One of us talked about it No, you do stage. a bit about it. Oh, it yeah. was basically, we, uh, you were going to go home that evening. Uh, you had something to do or something like that. And we were like, oh, let's, the, we got into the idea of like fucking in public, and so we were just gonna do it. So like, that's the thing you guys are trying. But it was just that. You know, you, said, like a, you, know, you get we into were, something. It's like it's like yeah. you know metal. And you get so into it for two weeks. We're like, oh, yeah. let's go to this parking garage, and then we get there, and there's people everywhere. The fucking Paul McCartney concert just got let <laughs> <laughs> out. Like two blocks away from Keto. That was the everywhere. best part about doing that joke. Cause I'd be like, in a parking, <laughs> in a parking garage. In that parking garage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh we're like, yeah. trying to find a place to go. We're like, there's too many fucking people here, and then we see all the evos lined up. We're like. I got an idea. So time out. Time out before we continue. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, because I'm going to share this, and this is going to be in Montreal, and we don't have Evos in Montreal. We have Bixies. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Evo is like a car-to-go service, similar to Bixies, but it's a car, and you can literally drive it around mm-hmm. the city over BC in certain pocket areas and just drop it off wherever, mm-hmm. right? And they fornicated. In one of those cars. We tried to. But here's the thing. I'm six feet three, man. I, d- I, did, I did my damnedest, man. But here's the thing, though. What they don't understand is Evos are 41 cents a minute. <laughs> yeah, we Bro, to we fuck attempted to fuck. How him, much was the Evo? In the front seat <laughs> How much was the Evo we bill? Drove back. We tried to fuck, and then, and then we were like, this isn't working. And so we we're like, hey, let's go back to my place. When you say try to fuck, hey, Timo, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Let's get I don't want a talk show, but this, I'm not trying to take yeah, over. Yeah, no, no, yeah, dude, yeah, a lot yeah, of questions. Yeah. So when yeah. you say try to fuck, were you guys assessing the logistics at first, oh, or no, no, were you? No, no. You're we were actively we're trying, actively yeah, trying we to were, put it in. We were in the down. back seat, and yeah. we were, we're okay. like, we we did fuck, but we didn't like it. It, was it, didn't, yeah, it didn't last that. It car didn't, we didn't we didn't finish because like we were in a fucking car, and we were like, why don't we? We're like, why don't we just take this car back to my place and fuck on a bed there? That would make sense. And so we're like, okay, cool, but then i was like i can't drive i'm too drunk and johnny's like i don't have a license and i was like i can't drive i'm too but can drunk you, you can drive and so he oh drove physically us back. Yeah, yeah absolutely i'm pretty <laughs> yeah. good at it too yeah. and uh yeah we got us back there but we parked the evo and oh, um God, I, I took yeah. my hat off because the police and shit are driving around so i wanted to look like just like you know like normal a, yeah yeah man mm-hmm. stand up like white boy don't even look at me i'm yeah. going somewhere yeah. that i need to be so I take the hat off, put it in the back seat, and then we get out, and we're going towards the car, and then we have to call them because like we can't get back in the fucking car. We, we got thing. out, and it then was, we it was looked, too and Johnny's then, hats yeah. in the back, and then we had to open it, and then I had to it. call them on the speaker, and she she like, was like, we're like yeah. actually laughing, like being you just got to order it again, and then yeah, just, like, it was it out. like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was it was, was, it, was a it was a process, um, but but, uh, I, but I feel like we, anybody we that our, went in after, we did our darndest. Yeah, everybody yeah. that went in there after, you know, I mean, um, hopefully we left a little something behind there for the next person. Did yeah. you? I mean, no. probably. not yeah. even roadhead on the way home. Uh, we no, try? no, I don't, no think so. I don't think so. Because I was at, to get that home point, safe at that point, yeah, because at that point we had tried to do it in the car, and we're like, no, let's just go home well, and I, so I get it no like, roadhead on the way back no because we were not See, because that's, we that's didn't the thing it's like it's, it's, no, that's, we that's, that's the difference between a friendship and, and a relationship but we were not there's trying no to get friends don't you guys don't give we road were not trying to get pulled over yeah 
Would you have gotten have caught? Fucking, he doesn't have a fucking license. We were just trying to. Yeah, man, I didn't want to yeah. be like, you know, eyes rolling yeah. back on boundary or something. Say, if you that get, is get true. too into that it, you know what true. I mean, right? So I was just get home safe Evo's. and park this fucking I would thing. Never, I hate car sex. Yeah. I've hated it since yeah. I was it's doing trash. it. It's trash. But the, well, the, the reason that we did it's the um, it's the build up and the end. Like, it's it's in the moment, right? In the mm-hmm. split second, it's, pat, it's cool, right? But, like, you know, we don't really think. That's actually a. a it's a constant in our entire relationship. Like everything that we do creatively or everything, we're, we're really over ambitious. Right. We're going to give mm-hmm. you some scripts when you leave here and shit like that. Please. We're going to get you into the, yeah. some stuff here. We're going to so shoot down. some shit yeah. in the next in so the, down. In the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. And um, even when we've set up like a shoot, it's like four sketches in two days and everything is fucking like, right. perfect, but it's yeah. exciting, right? Yeah. So when we get into a situation like that, like you're going to fuck it in Evo. You guys better fuck on this balcony when I leave. Okay. I mean, we could we can give we it a shot. Fu- we fucked on this couch. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> we should end it there. I asked there. if you flipped the cushions, you lying motherfucker. No, I mean flipped them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I asked at the beginning, did you flip the couch, the cushions? Like, yes. Before I got here? And no, bro. No, it was my birthday. Is, it was like two weeks like ago. A, this is like a week ago. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. <laughs> they didn't flip the cushions, the lying sons of bitches. He's absolutely right. I did not flip shit. I just didn't want him to feel uh, uncomfortable. But we got a good hour out of you, man. Akeem, thank you so we're much. Done? We're, we're, we're done? Yeah, man. We're landing the place. Oh, fuck. This Leave him one and more, man. You're coming back. This is more than an hour. Yeah, it was about an hour 15 or yeah. something. It's four o'clock. Yeah, well, man. Well, thank I you love so much. Tell, tell them where, where they can find you. Oh, fuck me. Don't try to find me. <laughs> Please. No, uh, Akeem Grams with a Z on Instagram. Akeem Tweets with a Z on Instagram. On Twitter, sorry. Uh, what else do I have? That's pretty much it. And uh, Akeem TikToks with a Z if you're on there. Uh, you can catch me uh, doing stand-up all over the place in Vancouver. I'll be in Montreal. I'll be home for two weeks with these goofballs. Uh, they're gonna be tainting my city with their sexual, with their sex points. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna find <laughs> yeah. your evos and fuck Jesus. the city up too. Oh, yeah. We got Bixies. We got we'll Bixies. Yeah. We got Bixies. Actually, yeah. actually, we have this. We have this magazine called Cult MTL where they literally have a list of the top five everything, top mm-hmm. ten, top everything. Yeah, yeah, and they have the top ten places uh, to fuck in public. Oh, get out of here! Oh hell yeah! yeah. Oh, we will be yeah. So we're go go, go on publication. We'll go on co- go on cultmtl.com yeah. and you'll be able to find. We're only it. gonna be there for a few okay. days, but we're gonna make that shit work. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. But that's pretty much it. That's where you can find me. And uh, yeah, that's it. we'll have all the links for all that stuff, man. Again, yeah, thanks so much thank for coming so much in. Of course, for thanks for having on. me. This is so right, much fun. Fuck yeah! Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Yeah, please. I want to hear these stories of the fucking.